this. I think. I think it's going. I think it is. Is this? Is this how it's supposed to work? I don't know. I'm. I'm, I'm old. Are we live? I'm not. I'm not quite sure. Um. I think it's working. Okay, fellas. It's a beautiful day for collecting. It's a beautiful day for collecting. A beautiful day for collecting cards and Hall of Fame baseball cards. One more time, it's a beautiful day for collecting cards. Where? Hall of Fame baseball cards. <laughs> That's terrible. That was <laughs> That was beautifully terrible, or was it terribly beautiful? I don't know, but welcome to what has become our final episode of the year that was 2020. Thank God it's over, or close enough to where I can clap and don't act clap. like it's over. Don't, don't clap. Are you guys just as happy about me as me that, that this year is over? I mean, pretty much just a... A poop show from beginning to end, was it? Um, but you know what? Let's try to have some fun and end it on a high note. We got 10 raffle items for tonight. We got some new products that we can rip this evening. And Brandon Fletcher, Mr. Hot Hands, wants to end the year right. He's going to tell you more about what's happening. All right. Um, so everybody say what's up to Hot Hands. Let's go have some fun. Thank you, sir. All right. Good, morning. good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday. Hopefully you guys are all doing well as we are getting ready here to end 2020 and usher in the new year uh, beginning next week, really. Next week, kind of the uh, first official week of 2021. Uh, things will be a little bit different. You know, we're going to kind of get, uh, kind of play with some di different things and kind of modify and improve ourselves as we hope to be a better version of ourselves in 2021. <clears throat> all right, everybody, <clears throat> let me tell you what's going on here. We got some new items for tonight. Uh, the Star Wars Holocron, which we previewed the other night, um, 99 bucks a box. We got Heritage High Number. We got a few, not very much of that um, at 129 Bowman's Best at 219 still. We got a few boxes of these. A couple items ready to rip. But tonight, we've got a very, very large raffle. Ten different spots. Ten items that we're going to be uh, raffling off tonight. And it's a whole bunch of stuff ranging from Holocron, the new Holocron, to Finest WWE, to some hockey products. We got an oldie but goodie, the Big League Collector Box. We got Stadium Club Chrome in there. We've also got some older stuff for the older people in here who appreciate the older vintage stuff. We got tops. We got a whole box of 86 rack packs. Tops 86 rack packs. You like the 87 wood um, wood borders? We got a box of that for you. You got 88 Don Rush. We got some 91 UD football in the raffle tonight. There's a whole bunch of stuff. 10. Spots are going to win something here in, in tonight's raffle. We're doing a big blowout raffle tonight for everybody that participates just because we want to say thanks, everybody, for joining us here on the last stream of 2020. And pretty much all year, we're going to blow it out and have a large, large pool of winners. So 10 raffle spots. So again, 50 bucks gets you a raffle spot. And you have a chance to win one of those fine items that I've mentioned on the right side of the screen. Everybody, what's up, Fernando and the boys? Everybody coming in the chat. Where are you hanging out with us tonight? We're here in Arcadia, California. It's a nice, sunny, moderately cool day here on a Wednesday as we wrap up 2020. Hopefully you guys are all safe and healthy and we're happy to be joining us here on Wednesday night. Personal breaks, end of the year personal breaks, really what it is tonight. And here we go. We're going to get rolling here. I'm going to drop you a couple links. Shop just dropped the link himself. I'm going to give you a couple... For perfect. I don't even have to be hand, I don't really have to be doing links. Shop's gonna be doing links. I just get to talk and rip and you know BS with you guys tonight. Holocron, Star Wars Holocron. All right, ninety nine bucks a box. New Star Wars. You like that Masterwork stuff? We got a new Star Wars product coming out um, available for you for personal breaks tonight. Star Wars Holocron. You get one autograph per box. We previewed a little bit of that on Monday. You want to see what those look like? Uh, we open up about a half a box here on the stream on Monday nights. So go back and take a look at that feed, and uh, they're really nice, glossy looking cards from from Tops. And uh, love to rip a couple of boxes of that tonight. And jump on that, um, and then we have a limited amount of Heritage High Number. If you're into the Heritage product, 
The update version is their high numbered version. We got a limited amount of that at 129. And of course, Bowman's best. We got a little bit of that left too. We got one we're going to rip right now. We got a Topps Chrome Black. We got a limited amount of that right now that, we're, that we can rip. We got a ton of Stadium Club Chrome. Let's rip that. Stadium Club Chrome. I'd love to get into a lot more of that. And pretty much whatever is on the website for you guys. Want to remind you, make sure that when you purchase your items, it says personal breaks. If you order something for regular shipping, we will ship it to you as you ordered it, but it will not be on personal breaks, and it will not be a part of the raffle. So make sure you do order personal breaks. If you order regular shipped items, then we will process that as is. We will process it as a regular order. It will not be on personals. So make sure you do order personal break items only for the personal break stream. As we're kicking off here to a little earlier than usual just to get the end of the year personal breaks going that raffle will happen later on tonight when who knows we'll find we'll see uh just where the night takes us and uh when that raffle will be going off all right let's get to ripping here james l is our first contestant of the night he's got a box of bowman's best let's get it going grab your personal break items at hofbc.com use that link that was just dropped Hit that, hit that website. Process your orders early and often. Get a part of the giant raffle we have going on tonight. Get some cool stuff. See if we can end. Give me one more opportunity to pull some hotness for you this year. This year we've seen some absolutely insane pulls. Let's go one more opportunity to see if we can pull some absolute craziness for you tonight. Here we go. James L., with uh, Bowman's Best, we got Kyle Lewis to start us off. J.D. Martinez, Bobby Bradley, Kershad on the franchise favorite, and a Joey Bart Refractor. Where's everybody uh, tuning in tonight? Tell us your location. Some of you I know. We're here in Arcadia, but where are, where are all you guys from? For those of you in the chat, tell us where you're tuning in tonight. Nick York, Marte, Nico Horner. There's a Nick Gonzalez Atomic. That's a nice one right there. Top prospect for the Pittsburgh Pirates. And how about a Luis Robert Refractor? As we see the room starting to populate a little bit. Bubble Pugs in Wisconsin. Fernando the Boys, White House, Tennessee. All right. Bogarts, Ed Howard, Andrew Vaughn, Nico Horner franchise favorites, and a Jake DeGrom Refractor. Bubble Pug, I was watching a little bit of the Wisconsin Badgers today, playing in the Dukes Mayo Bowl. Terry Edwards in Michigan. Matt Carter snowing here in Indiana. Foscu, Yelich, Buster Posey, Brandon Rogers, and Manny Machado. I almost went to uh, UI, or I almost went to IU um, when I was applying for colleges. I just didn't want to spend uh, five, six months in the snow. I ended up why, and, and uh, why I ended up not going there, but... Uh, Thought about going to IU. Dustin May Refractor, Kershad, Azalea. There is a Jeter Downs negative, and our first autograph will be Will Smith. Will Smith on a base auto. And we got a Jeter Downs negative. These negatives are really awesome. Bowman's Best always delivers. It's the best of Bowman. You get a good mix of top prospects, stars, and rookies. Pennsylvania for David Royer. We got Aaron Judge Refractor, Yamaguchi, Emerson Hancock, Zach Veen, and we have a redemption. Do to receive best of 2020 autograph of Nolan Gorman, St. Louis Cardinals top prospect. So you got a Nolan Gorman autograph coming your way, James L. Yeah, I was always a big fan of IU basketball. Uh, I Grew up watching those Bobby Knight, you know, the Bobby Knight teams of the 90s. Always a kind of a big fan of IU, you know, Indiana. It's always, a, you know, Larry Bird as well. I, I grew up kind of a Indiana Pacers fan too. I was, uh, Reggie Miller was one of my favorite players growing up. I watched a lot of Pacers basketball. Love those late 90s Pacers teams. Those mid to late 90s Pacers teams. Hassel, Witt Jr., Garrett Cole, Garrett Mitchell, and Max Scherzer. Here's your second mini box. 
Verlander, Matt Chapman. How about a Gavin Lux Stars and Stripes Refractor? These are cool. Say that every time, but they just keep getting they just keep getting better visually. Alex Baum and Bo Bichette, rookie refractor. The uh, we had to do state reports like in second or third grade, and my state was Indiana. So I've always been kind of uh, an Indiana fan of the state itself. Lindor, Pete Alonso, Luzardo, Reed Detmers, and Dubon. Also grew up a Notre Dame fan. Notre Dame football. So a lot of Indiana ties for me. Bryant Bailey. Here's a Gratterall to 25. Rosarda Gratterall. Orange numbered refractor to 25. A little orange behind it. We got Jared Kelenic and Mackenzie Gore. Last two autographs of the box here. We got Rendon, Julio Rodriguez, Altuve, Molina, and how about a Justin Foscue for the Texas Rangers? Justin Foscue base autograph. And your last autograph of the box. Reed Detmer's Refractor, Mancini, Pearson, Bellinger, and you got a Will Smith refractor autograph. So you got two Will Smiths in this box. You got a Will Smith base and a Will Smith refractor. So hopefully you're a Dodger fan, James L. Soup's in the other room. Yes, he is. And you got the Gorman and the Foscue. Hopefully you're a Dodger fan, James L. Because you got two Will Smiths in that box. And a Gratterall to 25. A lot of Dodgers in that box. There you go. Thank you, James L. Here's our first box of our last break of 2020. Matt C. with some Topps Chrome Black. Chris T. with a Bowman Draft. Here we go. Matt C., good luck on your black. Soup is hanging out with us today. Glad to have Soup in the house. It's always good to have Soup on. I'm running out of food puns. <laughs> Just stop while I'm ahead. All right, here's your black. Base cards, you got Garrett Cole, Brandon McKay rookie, and Joey Gallo blue. That's out of 75. This one is actually 75 of 75. And your autograph will be. It's a Philly. It's Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins. Base autograph. Philly's first baseman. There you go. And also a uh, Sacramento native, Reese Hoskins. All right, Matt C., there's your black. Thank you. And let's go to Chris T.'s Bowman Jumbo. Bowman Draft Jumbo. Wouldn't mind ripping these a whole bunch tonight. We got a bunch of these still left. Looking for top prospect first autographs. Wouldn't mind doing these. Still only two ninety nine a box. Still only $2 .99 a box. I just can't believe that. But they are. So that wouldn't be a bad place to be living tonight. Would be on some Bowman Draft Jumbos. Looking for you get three chrome autographs per box. Looking for guys like Torkelson and Kershad. There's a Candelario purple. Torkelson and Kershad. Um, Nick Gonzalez, Reed Detmers, Foscu, there's Sasoni Wells, Blake Lee, Jason Dominguez, a little base chrome right there, and a franchise favorites, Pirates, Emerson Hancock, Austin Hendrick, Patrick Bailey, you get the idea. Still have not seen a Torkelson auto come out of any of these boxes yet, kind of want to see one, except for that box topper that we pulled. We got Lutz, we got Basilovich, Ryan, Jarvis, Basilovich again, Horn, Cardway, Burns, and Greatness, Riley Green. Hello, Josh. Ooh, we got a gold wave. 
We got franchise features Rockies, Mauricio and Larnich. McConnell, Jones, Chriswell, Raya, Sagesi. How about Dan? Oh, it's an autograph. Okay. Daniel Cabrera out of 50. Maybe our autographs are in the bottom packs this time. But there you go. You got a gold wave autograph. Daniel Cabrera's tires. I was thinking Torkelson. Daniel Cabrera to 50. Nice. Very nice. I love these gold waves out of Bowman Draft. And this is why I would open this stuff all night, folks, is cards like this. These are these are just beautiful, stunning. You get the getting the first uh, first autographs of these prospects in that type of color. That's what you're looking for. So that's why I would open these up all night long. So let's keep doing that. One two ninety nine a box for these Bowman drafts. Gonzalez Martin. Nick Gonzalez, pretty nice. Kraus, Ashby, Norris, Bitsko, Cower, Applied Pressure, Duran, and Zach Veen. My nice Nick Gonzalez refractor. So, should be in the fourth pack. I'm going to reorder those. Let's see what we've got coming up here. we got a paper of Zach Daniels. Blue paper. Seymour, Baumer, Hassel, Hintz, Toglia, Gill, Romo, Swinney, and Luciano greatness. We got a little aqua coming up. We got franchise futures, Cubs. Hernandez and Cruz Refractors, Volpe, Carroll, Howard, Meyer, Canario, and Alex Santos Aqua. We got a 20 and 20 crochet, Lofton and Holesizer. Swaggerty, Knack, Lofton, Tolentino, Duran, and Garrett Mitchell first. Your autograph should be in that pack. So we'll do the, do those two last. Who else is jumping in after Chris? Need some folks in the lineup early on here. There's a Tristan Cautious Blue to 150. We got Burleson and Segesi. Freeman, Priester, Edwards, Lacey, Hendrick, Peraza. Nice first prospect run, run there in Nick York. Paper in the box. We've got Lacey Greatness, McCambly, and Tolentino. Goss, Seymour, Weatherly, Robinson, Dabovich. And crochet. We've got Franchise Futures, San Diego, Sweeney, Veen, Nwogu, Bishop, Ramos, Nicholas, Palmer, and Julio Rodriguez. All right, let's check out your other autographs here. Got a purple, and looks like a refractor auto. Jensen and Goss refractors. Bedell, Miller, Polkovich, Abrams, Larnich. Your purple is Carson Tucker to 250. And your autograph is Bryce Elder to 499. And your last pack. Like a base base auto. <clears throat> Meyer, Miller and Ramos refractors, Foscu, Casas, Rutherford, Franklin, <clears throat> Nick Gonzalez, and Jesse Franklin. <clears throat> Jesse Franklin. You can got the fifth on there. 
Jesse Franklin. What's up, Jesse? Good to see you in the chat. All right, so you're a couple of, uh, <clears throat> you got a Tucker to 215 and Nick Gonzalez. You've got Franklin, Elder, and Daniel Cabrera. This gold wave is just stunning. See you right there, 27 of 50. Love these gold waves. Love the gold on the Bowman. So there you go. Thank you, Chris, for jumping in on that box of Bowman. These are only $2.99 a box. Just jump in on those. $2.99 a box for some Bowman. You get a chance maybe to hit what? Something like that. Something like that gold wave auto right there. How about that? There we go, Chris. Nice box there. Who else is getting on in? Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, breakthrough. That must be Chris. Thank you. You thank you very much for jumping in. That's a nice looking box, especially that gold wave auto. Who else is jumping on in? Raffle tonight is pretty uh, pretty spectacular. It's ten different items, and we just kind of threw together a raffle with a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, kind of something for you know something for everybody there. We're gonna we're you know the for the first ten spots are gonna get one of these ten items. You've got Top Stadium Club Chrome. We've got some new Holocron. We've got some GPK Chrome, which is a really fun and colorful product. We've got some OP, OP, uh, OPG Hockey. Oh, don't sleep on that hockey product. OPG Hockey coming through there. We got a Big League Collector Box, kind of throwing it back to the beginning of the year, kind of when we started doing uh, streams four nights a week. We got. Upper deck football from 1991. Some old uh, upper deck football. You don't see any. You don't see a uh, upper deck football laying around too much. Some 88, 87, 86 baseball boxes. Don Russ baseball from 88. How about an 87 tops baseball box? The wood borders and some and some uh, rookies of some pretty good stars out of that box. Um, and then the 86 tops rack pack box. That's a pretty nice. Uh, Pretty nice one there. I think Shop and I opened up one of those a few, a couple of months ago, just playing around, and uh, takes you back a little bit. So there you go, Matt Bracken in Dallas Fort Worth, right on. Who else is uh, who else is getting in here? How about some new Star Wars Holocron? Who are we gonna rip that for? Maybe some Heritage High Number if you like. If you guys like the Heritage stuff, haven't seen any of that yet. Let's uh, see what's going on. Or some more Bowman's Best. I'd love to do a lot more of that. Even some Bowman Draft Jumbos at two ninety nine a box. We'd love to do a lot of that as well. Whatever you guys want to get into tonight, every $50 you spend gets you a spot in tonight's 10-item raffle. It's a pretty big one. If, you know, if you've know, you been around, you know how we do raffles. 10 items is uh, pretty ambitious for us. So we're doing a 10-item raffle tonight. Just throwing out some different stuff. Um, that's going to be done at the end of the night. So whenever that, whenever the end of the end of tonight comes, that's when we do be doing that raffle. Um, and don't forget to uh, sign up for uh, Hall of Fame Team Rewards going into the new year. If you're going to buy in tonight and you haven't done so, you're going to get in when we come back in 2021. Make sure you sign up for that Team Rewards. You get five percent back on all your purchases. Nobody's doing that, folks. Absolutely nobody is doing that five percent back on all purchases. Um, like we're doing it here at Hall of Fame. So jump in, make sure you get in on that so we can reward you with that credit as well. The team rewards is, a, is excellent. I've got my team rewards card. I use it. It definitely comes in handy every now and then, especially when you build up that credit. And don't forget about the super chat. You like what we're doing. Want to uh, you get, you know, make sure you get your comment read or you just want to show some appreciation, drop a super chat and uh, we'll read that comment. And uh, definitely appreciate any sort of super chat that you guys put in. We we'll greatly appreciate that as we get to the end of the year. As this is our last break of 2020, thank God. Cannot wait to uh, turn the calendar and start a new page in January of 2021 and see if we can uh, be a better version of ourselves in 2021. But we need some product on the table, folks. It's just now getting to 4 o'clock and we've gone through kind of our opening lineup. Who's going to get us going again? We need some product on the table. Drop, you know, you got some links up there. You got some links up there to use. Let's get going. Let's get going on some product. Josh Pond's like, how about them Padres? Well, we'll see in a couple of months. Go to tradition second. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens with those Padres there, Josh. Holocron coming right on. Brandon A says he just got some Star Wars. Okay, might see some Holocron coming. Let's get into that box. 
We did rip half a box of that earlier, so uh, this will kind of the full box version. I haven't, you know, we haven't gotten a full box of it, so this will be a first time for that. It's a Star Wars Holocron, and ninety nine bucks a box. It's a Star Wars action for less than a hundo. By the way, Brandon A, I hope you received our email that we sent you yesterday. If you haven't received that, go check your email or possibly even your spam. Okay. Here you go, Brandon A. Holocron series. One autograph per box guaranteed. You know, I don't, I don't know about guarantees. You know... Yeah, you know, you could take a dump in a box of, of guarantees, but uh, which I forget how that line goes. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Brandon A, here's your holocron Kylo Ren, the Mandalorian, C3PO, Sith Trooper, Sebula, Han Solo, Green. These are unnumbered, by the way. Ki Ra, Green, and Alderaan. <laughs> if you want to take a dump in a box of market guarantees, believe me, I've, I've got the time. I've got the time. Little Tommy boy. That one I do know. Laura Santica. Is that, Ma is that a Max von Sydow? Nice. The Armorer. Ray. Queen Amidala. Oh. Here's a sketch card. A sketch card, nice. Auto or sketch. Auto or sketch. So this is probably your hit. The force is with you in a sketch card. All right, I love the Star Wars sketch cards, and that's well done. Personally, I like these better than the autographs. Hello, Joanne. Good to see you up in here. Yeah, I personally, out of the Star Wars products, like the sketch cards a lot better. Uh, 3PO Green, Obi-Wan Refractor, or Foil, and Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber. Jesse, how much of this are you getting, man? I know you're into the Star Wars stuff. How much are we going to do for you tonight? Rose Tico, Dengar, Leia Organa, General Leia, C-3PO again, Han Solo, Ashoka Tano, that's a green, Leia, Old Leia, and mission to the Star Killer base with old Han Solo, Darth Maul, Tarful, Director Krennic, Han, older Han, IG Eleven, Bosk, Foil of Kuehl, and Octo Planet. Zam Wessel, Trudgeon, Wicket W. Warwick, nice Ewok. Ooh, Joanne was the museum, very nice. Embo, Forlom, Queen Amidala. Here's an orange of Princess Leia Organa. The orange is out of 99. Very nice. This looks like New Hope, Princess Leia. Yep, it even tells you where it's from, right there. New Hope, I guessed right. And Kijon Jin. Kwai John. Thank you. I've got Mr. Disney over here to my left. Kwai Gon. Dexter Jetser. Nice name. Obi. Obi Wan. Snap Wexley. Seventh Sister. R2 D2. Dirty R2. Tobias Beckett. Foil Kylo Ren. And Stan on Takadon. All of you should know by now that my pronunciations are crap. Aplek, R2-D2, Imperial Shore Trooper, Tusken Raider, Lando, Forlom, Al Alia Skura, Sakura, Sasura, whatever, and Daga Dagobah. The Dagobah system. Doesn't mean I can pronounce anything. Kurok. Boba Fett. I told there would be no math, and I told there would be no phonics. <laughs> phonics. I haven't heard the word phonics for about 30 years. <laughs> There's Princess Leia again, Obi-Wan, Embo, 
Cannon Jars, Foil, and Ashoka Tano. Yeah, and like those phonics, old, like old floppy drives. Yeah, those old, those old, <laughs> those old workbooks we had to do when we were like in kindergarten. Yeah. Senator Palpatine, Master Codebreaker, Poe Dameron, Hondo, Finn, Kadal, Warwick, and Asteroid Escape. I just blew. I just threw out a phonics reference for shop, and it completely blew his mind. Qui Gon, Supreme Leader, Chewie. Mayfield, Chewie again, IG-11, Janna Foil, and Nabu. What else are you guys going to get into tonight? Joanne's got a box of museum coming up. We've got more of this holocron if you want to get into it at 100 bucks a box. we got some Heritage High Number. What's up? End of the year, folks. Let's party. Yeah, Bowman Best at 219. Sabine Zuckus, the client. Chewie. Grand Moff Tarkin, General Pride, Han, and Yoda. So let's get ripped. No weight. Very little weight after Joanne's Museum box. There's nobody in the lineup. We're doing a 10-item raffle tonight. So 10 people, 10 spots. I don't know, 10, 10 spots are going to get raffled off tonight. tonight. You're going to get one of those, uh, or maybe if you have multiple spots, you're going to get a... Uh, one of those items, or multiple of those items. Fifth brother, C-3PO, this is when he was the golden god in Jedi. Darth Maul, Darth Sidious, Captain Cassian, Chancellor Valorum, Han Solo Foil, that's cool, and the Kessel Run. Is the Kessel Run a measure of space or time? That's what everybody debates. Uh, explain what you're thinking, Breakthrough. Explain what you're thinking. I think I kind of know, but I'd like to know what you know. Governor Price, Han Solo, Moff Tark, uh, Grand Moff Tarkin, Vol, Ben Kenobi, IG-88, Choppa. Get to the Choppa. Tatooine. Yoda from like the animated series. Yeah, Clone Wars. Admiral Akbar. It's a trap. Cad Bane. <laughs> Bistan. Padme Amidala. Enfy's Nest. Remember that show Empty Nest? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Agent Collis and Mace Windu. So that's, yeah. that's kind of yeah. what I was thinking. Box for who wants to go box to box? Who is breakthrough, by the way? That's uh Christine. Chris T, that's you, breakthrough. Chris T wants to go box versus box. I like the I like the cut of your jib, my man. You're calling people out right now in a way that I like to see. Who's up? Richard Martinez. Who wants to go head versus? I know Mike Styles. If you're creeping in the background, you know I know you like the Bowman. Who wants to go big right now? Let's play some big odds. Breakthrough odds. I'm down with that. Kano Conix at a 99. And aboard the Millennium Falcon. A couple more packs here out of this Holocron. BB-8, Peli Motto, Stormtroopers, Anakin, Luke, Rune Hako, R2-D2 foil. Styles would like that because that's how we play usually anyways, you know? Yeah. Highest va high value. High value. So with a box instead of a pack. Yeah. Rio Durant, Han Solo, Yoda. Lando, I'm old like, Lando. Gosh, this year I gotta figure out how to try to do after dark online. Yeah. Like we tried it with you know with the guys the one night. I gotta try to mix in some other people, you know. Yeah. Try that. We gotta figure that It'd out. Be kind of a cool thing. Radis, Obi Wan, Cardo, Luke. Oh, there's an autograph. Ooh. The fifth brother. So you got an auto in this box along with a sketch card. Now my question is, do the other four brothers also have cards in this series? And that's going to be out of four ninety nine, or four hundred. Yep, four hundred. Cool, fifth brother. Darth Vader green, Darth Vader foil, and free from the carbonite. And there you go. There's your box. So you got an auto, 
A couple of orange numbers, and you got a sketch card. Not bad. General Huff. I don't know. Doesn't uh doesn't say. Looks like him. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, so first order. There you go. That is Brandon A's box. Thank you, Brandon. Nice box. Here's Joanne's museum. After Joanne, nobody in the lineup. Who wants to jump in? It's only four ten. End of the year breaks, folks. End of the year breaks. Massive 10 spot raffle. Great prices on everything. We just want to have a little fun with you guys to end 2020. We got Soup standing behind me. In shop, gonna hang out with us. Help me with pronunciations on things. Make fun of me. <laughs> Here we go. Joanne, good luck. Museum. Let's see what we got in our museum. We got Andrew McCutcheon. We got Robinson Cano. We got Whit Merrifield. We got Charlie Blackman and Lorenzo Kane out of 50. Meaningful materials. Meaningful materials. The McCutcheon's a bronze. Something thick right there. How about a Yelich bronze? Chipper Jones, George Brett, Juan Soto, and Justin Upton out of 199 triple relic autograph. Justin Upton's always had a nice signature. There goes your third box. We got Richard Martinez, Holocron, and a 16 by 20. Oh, that's nice. How about a Jackie Robinson bronze? There you go. Put a sleeve on that. That's a nice looking card. A little Jackie Robinson. Keston Hira. There's Jackie Bass. Bregman. And how about our first one of one of the night? Freddie Freeman, Ozzy Albies, dual patch. Look at that. That is some nasty patchwork right there. These two brave stars. First one of one of the night. Yeah. That is incredible. Yeah, this is Joanne. Hit this nasty dual patch card. That is pretty nasty. A lot of cuts on that thing. Yeah. Joanne. There you go. We picked you a good one. And let's check out your last box. That is a nice card. Freddie Freeman. She won an NL MVP. We got Manny Machado out of 150. Pujols, Gavin Lux rookie. There's a canvas of Albert Pujols. Like these canvas reproductions. And how about Mauricio Dubon to 299 on card autograph, archival autographs. Rookie auto, Mauricio Dubon. So there you go. Nice box, Joanne. Another box comes through for Joanne. Got a nice Gavin Lux there. I love that Jackie Robinson photo, but check this out. Definitely the hit of the box. One of one. That is unreal. Some great patchwork right there on the museum. Boom. Very nice. Congratulations, Joanne. Always glad to rip for you. We got Richard with some Holocron and a 16 by 20. Let's do your Holocron, Richard. What's up? More holocron. 
I'm going to go a little faster through the base cards now that we kind of know. All right, here we go. There's 3PO, Solo, Charting the Galaxy. This one's out of 10. Mandalore, 5 of 10. A little purple parallel, Mandalore. Boom. Very cool. Yoda on the foil from the Phantom Menace. Yep, yeah, 99 bucks ripped and shipped. Can't really beat that, especially for Star Wars. There's a couple Chewy cards Mothma Green, R2D2 Green, and Asteroid Escape. Hey, you can't beat 100 bucks ripped and shipped on Star Wars on any product. Doesn't matter what it is. DJ, here's Yoda, Pow, Grievous, I like this guy. Yeah, General Grievous. Yeah, General Grievous. Pinchus Leia Organa, Anakin Foil, those are unnumbered, and Nabu. Boba Fett, the Grand Inquisitor, Jango Fett, Captain Rex, Bodhi Rook, and Yoda. I'll bring one of my, my uh, lightsaber next time. Near, near. Vader. Return of the Jedi on the Vader there. This General Grievous animated. Boss Nos. Finn. Lando. General Hux. And the Kessel. Bouchard. Palpatine. Fifth First Order Stormtrooper, General Leia, Princess Leia. Got two Leias there. You can kind of see the uh, evolution there. And Dagobah. Yes. Fernando, you're in line. You're next on the five star. Just sitting over there on the table. We got you, man. Got you on the five star. Obi-Wan, R2-D2, Ray, Jar Jar, Commander Cody, Bib, Ooh. that's a Jedi, yeah, Tatooine, Bib. and thank you for uh, making sure that your order was on personals, greatly appreciate that, 3PO, the ultimate complainer of everything, Lando, we got Hux, there's Yoda again, Zeon, <laughs> Bruce <laughs> the Emperor barely see his face Mace Windu <laughs> sounded like Bruce from Family Guy <laughs> oh no oh no, oh, no. Rex R2-D2 the Emperor Clone Troopers Phase 1 Vic Rule Tano there's Tano again Almost not the same card, but you got the orange out of 99. Ricky, what's up? Welcome to Hall of Fame Baseball Cards. Personal breaks. Glad you're here for the first time. We're doing some Star Wars Holocron for Richard M. And they're going to do a photo. Enjoy. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the chat. People who have been here for a while will definitely help you out. You got Poe Dameron there. You got a Zori Bliss. And Mandalore. And early Happy New Year to you as well. Lando, young Lando, Yoda, Luke. Apollo Creed. Apollo Creed, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Because we were was watching the Mandalorian, Robin's like, hey, you see who that is? I'm like, is that Carl Weathers? <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> Cody, he's like, oh, it's Apollo Creed. You got a Newt Gunray. Three for the carbonate. No, I was going to know Newt Rockney. Newt Rockney is the correct answer. The Mandalorian. Max von Sydow. General Leia. 3PO again. 
different Han Solo. Giancarlo Gian Esposito, the owner of Los, Los Poyos Hermanos in Breaking Bad. <laughs> Ch Chancellor Palpatine. He's a good actor, though. Giancarlo Esposito is a great actor. The Armorer, Rose Tico, Han Solo, Old Han. Maz, like her, and Obi-Wan. We're still yeah. looking for a hit here, either a sketch card or an autograph. Darth Maul, Tarful, Warwick. I didn't know the Ewoks had names. Me either. I just thought they were Ewoks. And the child. Grogu. That's his name. Like, actual name. Grogu? Grogu. Do you watch American Dad at all? I do. Do you know the name of Roger's tumor? No. Rogu. Oh, dear. <laughs> Hilarious. There's R2, Dirty R2. Pog, Poggle the Lesser. Is there a greater? DJ Foil and Exegol. Well, there's, none here. there's no snow here either in uh, Arcadia, Ricky, so don't feel bad. We actually got some rain on Monday. Jawa, Voss, Phasma, Malvis, and Mundi on the lightsaber. There should be an autograph in here. Come on. Yep, there it is. It's in the last pack in the last row there. Ooh. Clone Troopers foil. Heist on Vandor. Panaka. Dameron, Ray, Singh, and how about Sagwa? Huh. Sagwa is your autograph. And it's out of 315. Where did he get these numbers from? 315. That's odd. But there you go. Sog was your autograph. There you go, Richard. A couple of numbered cards there. Got a planet out of 10. Mandalore out of 10. Let's do your photo. 16 by 20s are awesome. We got a, we got plenty of these in stock. I think we're doing I think they're at 130, if I'm not mistaken. These 16, watch, watch what's going to happen here. If you haven't jumped in on the 16 by 20s, you really should. These are awesome. And, oh, yeah. Oh. Yes. If you're a Chargers fan, you love this. How about Phillip Rivers? The forgotten Charger quarterback. That is sweet. Philip Rivers. That's a great photo. You see it on the overhead camera. That's what I'm using here. There it is on the uh, main on the main camera. Philip Rivers. These are the 16 by 20s are amazing. You get the great photography like this. Big old full size 16 by 20. Um, I highly recommend these. You can't. They're usually really good names. You really can't go wrong. Even. Even the ones you might think are lessers are still amazing. Definitely 16 by 20s. Um, great items to have, especially if you're into autograph memorabilia. The 16 by 20s are awesome. Get a, get a bunch of these. Trust me. Great great price on a great item. So there you go. Philip Rivers. That's very cool, Richard. There you go. Too bad not Justin Herbert. But I'm telling you what, if you're going to get an old Chargers quarterback, Rivers... Probably is the one to get, if not Dan Fouts. But Phillip Rivers is a great hit. All right, Fernando and the boys. Here you go. Here's your five-star. And nobody coming in after Fernando right now, so we got plenty of time, plenty of space in the lineup for anybody who wants to get ripped right now. Go grab your products off of personal breaks. And again, every 50 you spend gets you a spot tonight in the 10-item raffle, which is the table of contents of that is listed um, on the right hand side. All right, here we go. Oh, I think we got a gold signature coming. Here's Robel Garcia, rookie. Here is Robel Garcia. These are awesome. Man, I love five star this year. I love five star this year. 
And your second autograph. It's a brave. Golden graphs. How about Tom Glavin to 20? Wow, that's a pretty card. Golden graphs. Tom Glavin to 20. It's a really nice card. Golden Graphs, Tom Glavin of 20. 16 of 20. That's sweet. Any prediction for the Clemson game on Friday? Clemson, who are they playing? Ohio State. Ohio State. Yeah, that should be a good game. I think Clemson by 10. Clemson by 10. Notre Dame's going to get absolutely destroyed. <laughs> and I'm a Notre Dame fan. Notre Dame is going to get destroyed. So, get over here real quick. So there you go. Uh, Fernando the boys. Nice Glavin autographed to 20 on the golden graphs. That was Just sweet. Sneak in like right here. Brandon, give me some bow ring action. Uh, three, two, one, and go. Ah. <laughs> what is Soup's doing something over here. <laughs> And this is what happens with soups in the in the uh, in the shop, folks. Shenanigans. Hey, Farver, what's that restaurant you like with the uh, crazy stuff on the wall? Shenanigans. <laughs> Who else wants to get ripped tonight? We got a great ten item raffle tonight. You can see the table of contents of what's going to be raffled off at the end of the night. Ten different items. I mean. You, you, you're looking at it like, you know, 91 Upper Deck football. Trust me, when you're opening that stuff, you'll really appreciate it, especially, you know, if you, you're watching football in 1991. There's some really cool stuff in there. 87 Tops Baseball, the wood borders with some really good rookies of, of some Hall of Famers and possible Hall of Famers. You have an 86 Tops Rack Pack box. This is the Cello Packs. The shop and I did one of those a couple of months ago. That was a really fun rip just to see all the old stuff. We got some newer stuff like Finest WWE, Topps Chrome Stadium Club, Holocron, all sorts of stuff. Um, ten spots in the raffle tonight. Every 50 you spend, you get a raffle spot. Right now, there's only uh, 29 spots total. So, you know, one in three chance right now to get into the raffle. It is only 4.30, so we've got, you know, two and a half hours left in the end of the year personal breaks program tonight. But it's important you guys get on in um, early and often. If you, want to, if you want to better your chances at one of the, uh, or multiple raffle items tonight. Again, Star Wars Holocron is new at 99 a box. We just opened a couple of those. Those are fun. Heritage High Number, we only have a limited supply right now. We're still waiting on tops to get to deliver the rest of that order. Um, Bowman's Best, we have a few left at 219 a box. Those are great. You get four autographs and, and refractors in every pack. Um... I really recommend Bowman's Best, and I, you know, if I'm going to recommend a product to you, I'm definitely going to, you know, it's definitely going to be good. Finest WWE has been a fun rip. Um, we've ripped a good amount of that. If we, you, know, you can jump on that for uh, what we have, um, that's a good product. Finest is always a uh, is always a quality product, in my opinion. But we got whatever you uh, want to get into tonight. Jump on into personal breaks. Make sure you do select a, a product for personal breaks. Do not select a regular shipped item go to group breaks go to personal breaks that's where you will find everything that we have available to rip on our youtube channel right now for me to rip for you tonight must be a personal break item if it's a regularly shipped item we're just going to ship it to you it won't be broke here it won't be it won't qualify for the raffle we're just going to ship it because that's what you ordered make sure you order a personal break item um we need some stuff on the table, folks. I don't know what's going on back there. All right, there you go. I was like, I don't know what's going on back there. Don't forget to retweet. If you go, if you if you have a Twitter account, go to Hall of Fame. Follow us on Twitter, or Hall of Fame Baseball Card. Help us retweet some stuff and get the word out that we're doing some pretty awesome stuff right now on the live stream. So, get you, help us retweet. Also, drop a super chat if you want to get your chat read. You just want to show us a little appreciation, some gratitude here at the end of the year, saying you guys are doing a great job. 
Thank you very much. You can always drop a super chat. Don't forget about that as well. Who we got? We got Andrew S. Andrew S. Coming in with some Bowman's Best. All right. Andrew S. Coming Bowman. Andrew S. Coming in with Bowman's Best this time. Let's check this out together. Two chrome autographs in each mini box, and these boxes have been delivering. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, we got Solaire, Bell, Detmers, Wander, and Gratterall. And if you want to, do you like what you see? You want to jump in on another box of best? Click on those links. Click on that link that shot just dropped right now. Get another box. Trust me, you want to. Why we still have them. Casey Mize Refractor there. You want to jump on this? Why we still have it, folks. This stuff has been flying off the shelves because it is a great product. It's a great product every year. It has been especially great this year. There's a Robert Rookie, Jung and Dunn. Jung and Dunn. We got Kellenic, we've got Acuna, we've got Guerrero, we've got Casey Mize, and Jordan Alvarez, rookie refractor. And your autograph should be in these two packs. Garrett Crochet Refractor, Harper, Mackenzie Gore, Joey Bart, and it's orange. It's a Met. It's Brett Beatty on the Refractor Auto. Brett Beatty. Refractor Autograph. We've got Susugo, Rutschman, Judge, Hassel Power Producers, Detroit. Did we do it? Yes, we did! Torkelson! Torkelson for Andrew, for Andrew S. Base autograph. Well, you were looking for that out of the Bowman draft. I know. We haven't seen one out of draft at all. What about the one that you and I hit with Jason Dominguez? Well, that was out of best. That was best. This is best. You know, I'm talking about draft. I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> now. I'm just going to go over here. <laughs> You were hoping to find a torque auto out of draft. Yes. And you haven't found that yet? No, not out of draft. Okay. Out of best we have. And just now you found that, oh, here we found one. Like, you, that's the first one you pulled. Well, we're always trying to find one. Oh, so you're just excited that you yes. found one. Yes, you weren't just... necessarily saying that was the first one yes. you've seen. Yes, yes. Just excited just we going to stay one. in the back, folks. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Tatis, Lux, and Mookie Betts Refractor. Kluber, Torkelson, we got a J.D. Martinez color to uh, 250. That's purple to 250. And we got a Pete Alonzo Atomic right afterwards. The Atomics. Very much like the Atomics. And an Art Auto Refractor. Nice. That's a good, that's a good band. It's a good band name. Ah, <laughs> Rosario, Franco, Carlson, Otani, and Soto Refractor. Well, we need to open some. Uh, we need to open some there, Chris. Chris Break through the odds. You gonna you gonna buy into some more drafts so we can pull that torque for you? Alfaro, Cease, Lacey, Lewis. Looks like an extra card in this pack. Otani, Solak, and Tim Anderson. Got an extra card in that pack. Chris T is guaranteeing a Torkelson auto out of Bowman Draft tonight. Bowman Draft boxes are $2.99. Chris T guarantees a Torkelson auto out of one of them. Jump in on those Bowman Drafts at $2.99. These are Bowman's best. Miguel Cabrera, Goldschmidt, Freeman, Brandon McKay. And it happened again. Jason Dominguez. No way. Is that the packaging? Are they coming together? They may be coming together. 
This happened wow. to shop. A Andrew S., what is up, buddy? Shop and I did this in the first box we opened a week ago. One mini box had Torkelson, the other one had Dominguez, and it happened again. Wow. The Dominguez going for about 250 I think Torque's going for about 100 or 150 Yeah, they're both base autos. Not bad, though. You know, you just got $400 worth of autos yeah. in those two cards. Very cool. Doubled your investment. And that's just base autographs. Meadows, Bellinger, Alfaro, Torkelson Power Producers. And how about, to cap it off, Max Meyer to 99 Max Meyer to 99 What a box. Of Bowman's best. This is why this product is so amazing. This product is so good. Yeah, power producers torque Alonzo Atomic, JD Martinez, and the uh, Alonzo. Everybody forgot about Brett Beatty. Everybody forgot about Brett Beatty refractor. There's the Meyer to 99. That's that's pretty good. The Meyer green. But how about that coming out of one box? Torkelson and Dominguez. David Butler with the $5 Super Chat. Thank you very much, David B. Andrew Sasso says thank you with the $10 Super Chat. Thank you, Andrew. That's how you do this. That's how you do the Super Chat, folks. You build your karma. You build the karma. You drop a little thank you. And look what happens. Torkelson and Dominguez for Andrew Sasso out of the, that box of best. Wow. It happened again. It happened to shopping myself last week. And it happened again. How about that? Bowman's best, two nineteen a box. That's incredible. Maybe Torkelson and Dominguez come together. Who knows? But it's happened twice. Let's go. Who wants to get into on some more Bowman's best? How about some Bowman draft? Looking for Torkelson at a Bowman draft at two ninety nine a box. Chris T says we're gonna find a Torkelson out of there tonight. Who's going to find that? Let's jump in on some stuff, folks. We have nobody in line. Now's a good time to get some product as we are, are steaming towards 5 o'clock. Again, the raffle tonight, 10 items. We're doing it at the end of the night, whenever that may be. Most likely at 7. But 10 items tonight. Some really fun stuff in that, too. You never know. We got some throwback items. We got some new items. We got some, you know, oddball items, some non sports. Who knows? We got a whole bunch of different stuff in the raffle tonight for every 50 you spend. We wanted to do a big raffle tonight, and that's what we're doing. We're just kind of throwing it, throwing this big old raffle together with some fun stuff. And that's really what the theme of the raffle is tonight. It's just kind of some fun stuff to rip, some nostalgia, some, some off ball stuff, some non sports stuff, some other sports stuff. It's just some fun stuff for you to rip. When we send you your orders um, from tonight's Personal Breaks program. It's the end of the year Personal Breaks, folks. It is the last breaks of the year for 2020. And believe me, we are all relieved that we're almost done with this year. And Friday, we can turn the calendar and start a new year, 2021, January 1st. We are looking forward to kind of revamping what we do here at Hall of Fame and bringing you a better version of ourselves um, in 2021. So what you guys going to get into? Again, with some new items. We've got that Star Wars Holocron at 100 ripped and shipped. That's, that's just incredible. See some good stuff out of Star Wars Holocron already. Limited number, a high number, but we do have Heritage High number. And then we just saw an incredible box of Bowman's Best, and we got those at 219 Bowman Draft at 299 one of the best prices you'll find around. And we got a whole bunch of other stuff that you could get into that we can rip for you tonight. I think it's time for me to take a pause. I've been kind of going here for about an hour. I'm sure will jump in yep. As soon as I get up, somebody will probably jump on in. And that's perfectly okay. I don't mind just getting up, stretching my legs for a moment, and coming right back down. So jump in on some personal break items, folks. Find what you want us to rip. There's 54 of you in the room. Welcome. Hopefully you all doing well on a Wednesday for the end of your personal breaks, last breaks of the year. Jump on in some product. Let's have some fun tonight. We're just being kind of weird and goofy right now. So you guys can kind of get some instant comedy as well, like we do every night. Find some personal breaks, folks. I'll be back.
All right, Chris T. Here we go. James, you gotta tell, you gotta show us what you got. You got a box of the NT baseball from the raffle the other night. You gotta show us what you got, man. You gotta send us some pictures. I want to see what's in there. I love NT baseball. Here we go, Chris T. Backing it up. He thinks we're gonna find a Torkelson out of draft tonight. So let's see if this is the box. If we're gonna find a Torque Auto. I'm just saying we haven't hit one out of draft yet. I want to find one. There's Groshans out of paper, uh, blue paper out of 150. Glowinky and Carol, Henry, Santos, Langoliers, Duran, Mitchell, Hentz, and Futures. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of NT Baseball, actually more so than maybe the other ones. Um, just because I like the Legends Relics they put in there. How about a Torkelson Refractor? All right, now we're starting to roll. How about a Torkelson Refractor? That's all. That's cool. We got Acker, Toglia, Chamberlain, Westbrook, Cabrera, Cantrell, a Cabrera Aqua, and a Reed Detmers Speckle. Nice, nice pack there. Lou Gehrig Legendary Materials book out of 25. That is pretty sick. That I want to see. We have when we have NT baseball in stock, and I'm telling you folks, that is a great product. I love National Treasures baseball. And I'm normally not a huge fan of, of Panini's baseball products. That one I'm a big fan of. A Lou Gehrig legendary book materials. You got a Torkelson greatness. So your autograph's going to be in the fourth pack. So we're just going to put those aside. If you want to jump on some National Treasures baseball for 2020, there's the link right there. Do it. Somebody's got to do that. Let's get some National Treasures baseball going. Hassel, Amaya, McCambly, Malazinski. Yeah, $4.99 is a great price for National Treasures Baseball. And I've never really been disappointed in what comes out of there. Usually you get, I mean, just the, the, the Legends stuff that they put in there is pretty outstanding. That's kind of why I like, I like getting into that. McMahon, Kowar, Green, Baumler, Hernandez, Williams, Ackler, Clayton Beater, Aqua, and Bobby Wood Jr. Greatness. So if you guys want to get into some National Treasures Baseball, that link was just dropped. You can get into that. Maybe you can hit a legendary materials like James. We got Jarvis first, Haskin first, Refractor, Gorman, Prater, Hines, Gilbert, Vukovic, Lutz, Franchise Futures, KC. Shane R. with some Contenders Optic Basketball. Lewis Gill, purple. I mean, blue paper. Ed Howard, Jones, Hankins, Amaya, McMahon, Freeman, Priester. Got a Zach Veen that was backwards. And Nick Gonzalez. Photo variation on that Zach Veen? Maybe. I know there's, I, know, I think there's variations in here, so that might have been one. If that's the case, I'll put that right there. We've got Cavalli Refractor, Ragsdale, Kirby, Siani, Warren, Whipped, Downs, Cavalli again, and Futures. Last pack before autograph packs. Last pack before autograph boxes. Here we go. We got Bitsko, Phillips, Weatherly, Robinson, Groom, Schmidt, Garcia, Rodriguez, and Hassel. Let's check out your autograph packs. Good luck. Looks like it might be purple to start. We got a speckle and we got a purple. 
Murphy, Lodolo, Lee, Ventos, Encarnacion, Calabrese, Halber. We've got Xavier Edwards. And how about Patrick Bailey out of 250? Giants number one pick. Purple Patrick Bailey. I like that. And a Xavier Edwards speckle. We got Greatness, Kershad, Parker, and Seminaris. Carroll. Here's a Torkelson first chrome. Palmer, Rodriguez, Espino. Chris T, you were right. There it is. We hit one. Are you serious? Dead serious. Are you serious? It happened? It happened. Oh my gosh, Chris T. You literally, you said it was going to happen. We pinned your comment, and then it just happened. <laughs> Called a shot, and there it is. Oh Bam. my god. It's kind of nice. It's going to be here on the end of the year personals, folks. We're only about 45 minutes in. Yeah, who knows what kind of magic Yeah. We started at 3.30, we're about an hour and 15 in, and we're already doing some crazy stuff out of these boxes. There's Spencer Torkelson, base autograph out of draft. I said we hadn't pulled one yet. There it is right there. Boom. Congratulations, Chris. Chris T, breakthrough odds. Breaking through the odds. $2.99 a box. $2.99 a box on these... Bowman drafts, folks. Like I said, we could rip these all night, and I would not be mad. We got a blue wave coming. There's a franchise futures, Tigers, Isbell and Adams, Tucker, Kershad first, Lynch, Horn, Caraway, and how about Casey Martin first out of 150? Casey Martin, blue wave out of 150. This was a good box, folks. Check this out. The Casey Martin Blue Wave, the Patrick Bailey Purple, and the number one pick overall, Spencer Torkelson. On the on the uh, on the base auto there, you got the Torque first Chrome two Edwards, the Veen possible photo variation. You had a Torkelson refractor and a Reed Detmers. That was a great box there, Chris. Congratulations, man! You called it. Chris called it. How many more might be lingering back here? There might be more. Who knows? Who knows what's lingering back there in the that Bowman draft? Two ninety nine a box, folks. Those, you know, those are starting to deliver pretty good. There was two two color autographs in there. You have the Torkelson base. There could be Torkelson colors. Who knows? Jump in on those Bowman drafts, Richard L. That was quite the box. Yes, it was. That's the second straight Bowman product that we pulled a Torkelson auto out of. Who knows what kind of run we're going to go on. Here's James Majority with some Star Wars. We'll break up the little Bowman run, then we're going to get right back to Bowman's best. And James has also got a photo. Bowman draft, only $2.99 a box, folks. $2.99 a box. Palpatine there, Chewbacca. Hey, another sketch card. Oh, that's a really nice one, too. One of the uh, troopers. That is a really nice sketch card. So sketch cards could be in the first pack. Those are nice. Very cool looking sketch. You got Newt there, K2SO, and Skywalker. And the client, Chewy, Ben Kenobi. We've got Supreme Leader, Sidious, Val. Burrito Supreme Leader. That sounds good. <laughs> Karuk, Boba Fett, Young Boba Fett, Poe Dameron, Finn, 
DJ Bistan Planet. Fifth Brother, Sith Trooper, Anakin, Tarkin, Lightsaber. You got Ray there, C3PO, Yoda on the foil. James got a little bit of a run here. We got Shane R. We've got Baldridge with some Leaf Trinity. So we got a nice little order building up here, but now would be a great time to jump in. We are hot on Bowman products, folks. Bowman, Bowman's best, Bowman draft jumbos. We are hot on Bowman products. Jump in and grab some of those. There's Lando on a foil. You know, I'm not sure yet, David. And uh, no, we're not doing any group breaks tonight. We're just ripping some personals, so jump in on your personals. There's Skywalker, Boba Fett foil. Definitely jump in on those personals. We are hot right now. Han Solo, Lando, Yoda. There's a orange Forlom. These are out of 99. Those are out of 99. Breakthrough. I know I called it, but you guys pulled it. Y'all are great. Thank you very much for the super chat there, Breakthrough. We appreciate that. And yep, you definitely did call it. That was kind of outstanding. You called your shot, and it happened. I love it when a, when a plan comes together. You know, you called it, said there was guarantee, and you got in, and you reaped the benefits. Congratulations on that, man. Skywalker there, Poe Dameron, and Hoth. We got Valorum, Tano, Bib Fortuna, Obi-Wan animated, Darth Vader foil, like like that card a lot. Let's see. Captain Phasma, the child. And Finn Green, Leia Green. Coming down, I think your autograph's going to be in that last pack. That's where it's been in the other two boxes. Come on, the soup, John B. General Grievous. We're up in Star Wars for James M. Then we're going to get into James M's Bowman's Best. Val, Ben Kenobi, Lando, Darth, Yoda, Lightsaber. Here we go. Here's your autograph pack. At least it should be. It is. Stick it over there. Oh. Tuscan Raider, Grand Inquisitor, IG-8, Governor Price, Bistan, Padme, and how about Eth Koth? Eth Koth. Little animated autograph there, Eth Koth. Out of 500. Jeez. These numbers are all over the place. Eth Koth out of 500. There you go, James M. There's your holocron. Let's check out your Bowman's Best and we'll do your photo. And Shane R's got Optic Contenders and then Baldridge. With some Trinity baseball. Who else is going to jump in after Baldridge? There's nobody in line. If you want to jump on in, go to uh, go to our personal brace page. Make sure you do select product for personals. If it's regular, if you if you buy something that's regular ship, then we will ship it to you. It won't be broken on personal. So make sure you do select personal break products. James M, here is your Bowman's Best. Lux, Puck, Mize, Mike Trout franchise favorites, and a Buster Posey refractor. Nice to see Trout. Maybe we can pull some Trout autos. Mine is uh, Breakthrough, mine is Buster Posey. My baseball PC is Buster Posey. Brendan McKay, Stars and Stripes. 
I grew up in Northern California. I'm a big time Giants fan. And Buster Posey has been my favorite Giant since he came in the, since they drafted him. I also PC basketball. My basketball PC is De'Aaron Fox. Aquino, Jordan Alvarez, Mookie Betts, Lusardo, and Sean Murphy. Yeah, my uh, I'm a Kings fan. Kings are three and one. Woo! Good win last night over the Nuggets. Max Meyer, Arenado, Yamaguchi to uh, two fifty, and I PC Darren Fox. Who's yours? Who's yours? Uh, breakthrough. Or what is yours? You got Jordan there and Garrett Crochet. Should be autographs of these packs. Gratterall. Yeah. Yeah, who, who do you guys PC out there? Uh, Breakthrough says Acuna. Nice. Ben, Buster Posey is from a town an hour away from me. Yeah, uh, Leesburg, if, if that's correct. Nice. Yeah, I knew he's from Georgia. There's Guerrero. And how about, uh, wrong White Sox, Tim Anderson. <laughs> Tim Anderson on a refractor auto. Javi Baez for David Butler. I like Baez. He's got some flash, and I like the way he plays. Definitely not Yelich. Uh, <laughs> bubble Pug, you lie. Liar, Bubble Pug. Liar. Uh, liar. That is lies and fabrications. Get back, witch. And here is Everson Pereira. I'm not a witch, I'm your wife. And after what you just said, I'm not even sure I want to be that anymore. <laughs> Pereira, Yankees Auto. So there you go, there's your first box. I know Bald Pug knows that movie. Baldridge collects bonds. Nice. Oh, thank you, Baldridge. Thank you, Baldridge. I appreciate that. Somebody's got to collect bonds out there. We've got Hendrick, Joe Adele, Soto, Andrew Vaughn, and Casey Mice. Who else is everybody PC out there? Talk, tell us who, you, what your uh, personal collections are. I also PC Triple Threads, believe it or not. Um, I love the Triple Threads set, so I've been kind of hoarding some really cool Triple Threads pulls that I've had recently. Um, but uh, yeah, I, Buster Posey and De'Aaron Fox is... My stuff there. Here's a Robert Hassel Atomic. Susugo. Yes. I think you're right, right about that bubble pug. That's correct. That is correct. Bryce Jarvis. There's Jordan Refractor. Breakthrough also PC John Moran. Yeah. I like John Moran a lot. We've got a couple Morant stashed. I got a uh, Silver Select. I love Select Basketball. It's my favorite basketball product throughout the year. So I got a uh, Zion and a John Morant Silver stashed in my collection as well. Not because I'm just waiting for it. I just I love the card. Salvador Perez. All right. Interesting. Salvador Perez. David Butler. Justin Herbert. Right on. That's cool. I think we got all right. This is our first autograph pack. How about a Garrett Mitchell Atomic? That's a really pretty card. And how about Robert Plawson? Base autograph in this box. There you go. Robert Plawson. And that's a really nice Garrett Mitchell atomic. Let's see what else we got. Uh, Dame, Damian Lillard. Yep, love Lillard. Mookie Betts Refractor, Trout Soler. There's a Luis Robert Power Producers. And Antonio Cabello. I've seen Pereira and Cabello be together, too, in separate mini boxes as well a couple of times. So there's your box, James M. Nice little, that's a nice little Bowman's Best box. You got a lot of good, nice goodies in here. You got a couple of Atomics, the McKay, the Trout. You got a, some good autos here, a Cabello. You got the Poisson. Pereira and the Anderson Refractor Auto. Very nice. It's a nice little box. Let's check out your photo. 
James M. with a photo. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. Soup. Thank you, Soup, for the help. It's not Kaepernick. It's the uh, it's Kerrigan. It's the uh, we've seen. I've seen this yeah. one before. Kerrigan. Ryan Kerrigan from the uh, from the uh, Washington football team. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so there you go. It's the Ryan. Ker it's the uh, Ryan Kerrigan tackling Kaepernick. I've seen this photo before. That's why that again for James's benefit. James, I'd probably prefer Nancy's autograph. If you're old enough to know that reference, you're cool with my book. <laughs> so there you go. You got Ryan Kerrigan on your photo. Thank you, Sue. All right, James, there you go. Cool photo. All right, let's move on. Shane R. with some Contenders Optic Basketball. Oh, we didn't have any more of this. Guess not. Here we go. Yep, after Baldridge, there's nothing in the lineup, folks. you got a couple hours left of the program. Again, 10-item raffle tonight. So jump in on some product. We're having a great run here. Got some really hot stuff coming out with the Bowman products. No offense, of course, to James, uh, but I just don't know a lot about football. So most of that joke was a joke on my lack of knowledge. Ooh, got a nice uniformity on the back. This is a nice little box. We've got Brogdon. This guy is on fire right now. If you like Michael Porter Jr. and empty stats. We have a redemption after Buddy Heald. These are awesome. I love these. How about a lottery ticket of P.J. Washington Jr.? These are really cool. You're going to like this one a little better. Uniformity Red Ice Luca. A solid pull out of that box. Oh, well, that's terrible. Is that true? That's awful. I mean, have you seen that comment? Yeah. yeah. No joke, my last redemption didn't have a code on it. Scratched it off, nothing. So that's funny. We've now seen autograph cards with no autographs, and now apparently there are redemption cards with no codes. That's not cool. That is. It's not cool for you, but it's, well, it's not cool for anybody. It's kind of funny, right? Rookie variation season ticket gold. That's going to be out of 10. Come on, baby. Be big. Matisse Thibel. Not bad. All right. It's a decent rookie. Matisse Thibel. So you're going to get a rookie variation season ticket gold out of 10 of Matisse Thibel. Believe me, you could do a lot worse than these autographs in here. There are some nasty bad autographs in this product, and you uh, you did okay. You got Buddy Heald Red. You got MPJ. If you like Porter, I don't personally, but whatever. Brogdon, you got that's really nice. The uniformity Luca. I love the lottery tickets. PJ Washington lottery tickets out of this set. Lottery ticket silver and the Thibel Gold out of ten. That's a very good hit because you could get some really bad autographs in that in this box. So there you go, Shane. Nice hit out of contenders. Luca is a steal hit, yeah, for sure. That's like getting a that's getting a second hit if you get that if you get a Luca like that out of that box. And the uh, the PJ Washington is really nice too. Those are pretty pricey. I've been looking at uh, possibly building that set. I have the contenders lottery tickets from the original contender set. The optic set is stupid pricey to build. I've got other projects that I'm working on right now, so that one might have to wait. Here we go, Baldridge, and there's nobody in the lineup after Baldridge. Who's going to jump in after Baldridge here? Nobody in the lineup? Go jump on your personal break spots. Okay, here's a chance for me to talk about Michael Porter Jr. as we get into Baldridge's box. I Porter Jr. is a really talented scorer. 
And he had 30 and 10 last night in a loss to the Kings by 10. And I've been following Porter, you know, since he got in the league, even when he was hurt. Here's the problem that I have with Porter. He's an empty stats guy. He's going to score. Not a problem. You know where this kid's going on uh, Baldridge and stuff? Here's Matthew Thompson. A little clear acetate. Clear acetate. Porter is going to score. He's a scorer. That's what he's going to do. But he's an empty stats guy. His plus minus last night was not, was minus nine. You can't drop 30 and 10 and have a minus nine plus, plus minus. You can't. That means what you're doing is not helping your team win. And that's who he is. Andrew Dalquist, 81st pick in the 2019 draft, 10 of 20. And that's why I'm not a big fan of Porter. I think he's a lower end of Devin Booker. But the guy can score. He's an uber-talented scorer. Oh, that's a nice card. How about Braden Shoemake on the clear? Braden Shoemake on the clear. That's cool. Love these acetates on this product. You kind of see it right there. You see right through it into the stack. Can't wait to play in the big leagues. Nick Nelson. Fox is an absolute stud. Yes. The Lakers blew it when they took ball over Fox. I mean, you can't really complain because, you know, they turned ball and all those guys into Anthony Davis and title, but I'm just saying. De'Aaron Fox is an absolute monster. He, he, had a, he had a terrible game last night and still had like 24 points and 10 rebounds and a bunch of assists, and they won by 10. And I thought he didn't play that well. 16 out of 35, patch auto, Matt Gorski. That's a nice patch. Sick patch there. And your last one is a clearly Gavin Lux out of 45. 17 out of 45, Gavin Lux. Those are cool. The other two clearly were not numbered, so this one is. Very nice. That's a sick hit. All right. So there you go, Baldridge. That might be our last box of Trinity. That was a good, that's not a bad box. I like the Leaf stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that Lux is nice. There you go, Baldridge. Nice hit on the Lux. All right, folks. Who is going to be next? As we get into the 5 o'clock hour, you're welcome, Mr. Baldridge. Appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, we got, again, the raffle tonight, 10 items. 10 items tonight. And the item table of contents is on the right-hand side. A whole bunch of just kind of random stuff. You got a whole, little bit of something for everybody. Excuse me, Baldridge, I see you in the chat, buddy. Honestly, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Tri I'm not looking for Lux, but CJ might be interested. Baldridge says Lux is for Trey. Yeah. So maybe you work something out with CJ there. You guys could make a little contact to the uh, Hall of Fame trade group, possibly. If you guys are looking, you know, anybody who gets involved and you're looking to make some trades, the Hall of Fame trade group on Facebook is a great way to facilitate those trades. I've used that. Um, it's a you, know, you get to meet some cool people in the community here that uh. Have Baldridge, Go through Hall of Fame. To have Baldridge say, "Hey, Baldridge, what are you interested in?" Uh, so CJ knows what to look for for you. Yeah, what are you what are, what are you looking for, Baldridge? And uh, CJ can uh, kind of see what he's got. New items. I'm gonna go through some new item stuff. Holocron at, at 100 bucks a box, ripped and shipped. Heritage high number. I haven't done any of that. We got a limited supply of that. Baldridge likes Royals. Royals. All right, KC Royals. Uh, Bowman's best at two nineteen a box again two uh, two nineteen ninety nine. That's a great great uh, great uh, product for that for that price. I and mean, we've seen some hot stuff come out of Bowman's best tonight. Bowman draft at two ninety nine. Awesome product. We saw a Torkelson auto come out in our last box. There might be more in there. Could be some colors. Who knows what comes out of that Bowman's draft box? Two ninety nine a box is a great buy on those Bowman drafts. And then of course the raffle tonight. Take a look at all the different products that we're going to be raffling off. Tops 87 baseball. 87 on the wood border. There's some really good rookies in that class of some Hall of Famers, really, like Barry Larkin. Uh, Bonds, um, his first, his first basically flagship because he was in 86, but 87 kind of Bonds. 
uh, Larkin, I think McGuire, a bunch of good uh, first year tops cards of some really uh, some basic quality Hall of Famers. Um, we have an '86 Rack Pack box. I mean, that's just stuff you want to rip for fun and just kind of hang out with and rip some old stuff and kind of take you back in the day of uh, of some uh, '80s baseball stars. And we got some newer stuff like Finest WWE, Top Stadium Club Chrome. The raffle is just kind of a mixed bag of fun stuff for you guys to rip. Richard Bilyalitsa is extremely underrated. Um, yeah, I, he's a solid player, but he's finally he doesn't have to start anymore now that Bagley's Bagley's healthy. Their bench isn't terrible. Um, I don't know if they're good or not yet. They've only played four games, and they've won three of them, which has been great. I don't know if they're good or not yet. I'm not going to say that they are, but I definitely like the way that they're playing for sure. Um, the first four games watching Kings basketball has been much, much better than it has been the last, you know, ten years or so. So I, I'm optimistic for sure. I Hopefully they can continue. Um, besides Fox, my favorite player on that team is Halliburton. He might win the Rookie of the Year. And I, and I know it's only four games, but he's really, really good. Because he's just a good player. And um, he'll be first team all, all rookie for sure. That That's that's going to be, that's a guarantee. But uh, Halliburton is a stud. And he's really helped that team out tremendously in their second unit. He even plays down the stretch. He plays with the starters down the stretch. Love Halliburton. Yeah, he, he's, he's, a, he's a great player. I love Tyrese Halliburton. I didn't know anything about him when he got drafted. But I'm really glad he fell all the way to 12. Um, we need some product on the table, folks. So I'm going to take a pause. Usually that uh, that kind of facilitates some people jumping in on stuff. So let's get in on some stuff, folks. Get ripped. No wait. Let's do some more Bowman draft jumbos. Let's do some more Bowman's bests. Go find something cool on the website that you want to break for personals. And let's get that ripped. We saw some five-star earlier. Go find some of that stuff and let's rip that. See what's in there. We've been pulling hot stuff all night long, folks. Let's keep it going here on the end of the year personal breaks here at Hall of Fame Baseball Cards. I'm going to take a pause. When we come back, we can talk more basketball if you want. We can chat some baseball, whatever you guys want to chat. Let's go. Let's uh, let's get some more stuff ripped. Let's have some more fun. We'll, uh, I'll be back when we got some product.
All right, Ed B with some Heritage High Number. First box that we're gonna rip. I haven't seen this yet. Nice job. And Mark O with a little uh, Topps Chrome Stadium Club coming through. Here we go. What's up, Mark? Mark, who celebrated his birthday with us the other day. Josh Jackson. Yeah, I'm happy for Josh Jackson. Oh, I, I hope he figures it out in Detroit. I mean, he, he played decently well yes, last year. I hope he figures it out. Uh, baseball's greatest moments. One Major League Baseball special insert inside. Let's check this out. This is for Ed B. NL Player of the Month, Aristides Aquino. Very cool. Aristides Aquino. All right, here we go. High number. A real one autograph or relic card in every box. Rodriguez, Iglesias, Susugo, Price, McCullers, Taylor, Gonzalez, Garneau, and Robbie Grossman. There are variations to this that, that, that are, these, you know, these are interesting. I like the old design. There's rookie performers, Nico Horner. You've got variations. You've got color swaps, all sorts of different kind of weird stuff. So it might be something we miss. Hopefully we don't. Luis Robert. Nice. There's Luis Robert right there. That's a sweet looking card. What's up, Mark? It's a nice looking Robert on the uh, high number. We got Baldridge coming back with some Leaf Ultimate Draft. All right. Award winners Pete Alonzo. Delino DeShields Jr. This is like Heritage's update version. Sutsugo. Yeah, Yasiel Kui. Kramer, Wood, Edwards, Perez, Marte, Patrick Wisdom, Danny Mendick. See World Series highlights. No name staff sets off epic celebration. Pittsburgh Pirates. Dobnik rookie. Perfect. Richard Martinez jumping back in with another historic autographs. Awesome. Gratterall rookie. Kyle. Hish no, never mind. Strasburg War winners. Yamaguchi rookie. There's a mini of Hinjung Ryu. These are out of 100. These little mini cards. Hinjung Ryu. Yeah. Pedro Strope. Kipnis. Students of the game, Vlad and Bo Bichette. Bertle rookie. Uh, Matt Strong, that corner came out a little funky. The Big Bear. It's a name variation. Nickname variation, the Big Bear. I think that's on Roberto or Suna. We should be able to find that. The nickname variation, the Big Bear. Uh, <laughs> Akiyama. Speaking of, what? Jesse A was some GPK. Happy uh, now and then, happy return, Pulos. It's when he went back to St. Louis. Uh, 
Well, they're definitely trying. Padres are definitely trying. Award winners, Mike Trout. Yeah, the Padres are definitely trying to load up and beat the Dodgers. We'll see if it happens. Solari, Willie Castro, Rubel Garcia. Clevenger's out. Clevenger's out. No, he's out. He's been done. Yeah, Clevenger's out. And how about your autograph? How about the autograph in this box? Jeff McNeil Red, the 71. So you got a real one auto red. Jeff McNeil. That's these are hard to hit. Jeff McNeil red. So you got an autograph and not a relic. And it's a red. Very nice. There's the Ozuna. We pulled the nickname. Check this out. So you have the nickname variations. There's the base Ozuna. There is the nickname variation. Jose Rodriguez there. Last stack, a high number. No, stick it over here, CJ. The form sticking stuff. Thank you. World Series Highlights 71. Ravello, Mendez, James Majority. You're a guy. I see uh, Ed Brown. Thanks for the pulls. You got it, Ed. Love the red autographs in this. Rookie Performers Dubon. Now and then, bat flip king. Here's Tim Anderson. Mookie Betts on the Dodgers. Let's play two, Ernie Banks. A little tribute card for Ernie Banks. And you got Edwin Rios on a black chrome. Rios on the chrome. These are also really nice of this set. Wish they would do a chrome set. $9.99, a chrome set of the Heritage. I think it would look great. Like they would just ditch the Heritage and just make it chrome. A couple of rookies in here. Last pack for you, Ed, on your Heritage High number. Tyrone Taylor. Now and then. A little interest here. Perfect. All right, there you go. There you go, Ed. You got a Rios Chrome. You got the Big Bear nickname variation. The Jeff McNeil Red Auto. That's sick. That's, those, these are really hard to hit. Yeah, man. Hinge and Ryu Mini, those are out of 100. And you got a Luis Robert. Sick, it's just uh, stuff. slick looking card. There you go. There's your Heritage High number. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Ed B. Thank you, sir. All right, Mark O with some Stadium Club. Chrome. What's up, Chris? I see you. And I see your comment. Thank you very much. Let's see some Luis Robert or some Judge Chrome. All right. Good luck, Mark. Let's see what we can do for you. I wanted to see a filthy autograph come out of this. We got Muncie there, Honus Wagner. Let me kind of go a little faster here. And Austin Nola, rookie refractor. Yeah, Hinge and Ryu. There's a Walker Bueller beam team. Mejia and Encarnacion. Hoskins, Wong. There's your autograph coming through. It's going to be, there's a beam team, Acuna, and how about Mike Brosseau? Is your autograph, and that's going to be out of 25. Brousseau out of 25. 
Rousseau out of 25. Nice low numbered auto. You got Max Scherzer there. You got Clemens. There's Davis. There's Taylor. There's Rosario. How about Chris Sale, Emperors of the Zone? I like those inserts. Gliber and Mancini. Nice. Soto. Gallo, Strawberry, Eduardo Rodriguez Refractor, Azale, and Bo Bichette. That's a, one of the nicer looking cards of this of this set here is this Bo Bichette rookie. Looks like a uh, Frankie Montez, Clevenger, Santana, McGuire Power Zone. Gary Sanchez and Kepler. Baldridge is up next, and then we got Richard M with some Bowman's Best and Historic Autographs. Jesse A follows with Garbage Pail Kids Chrome. We got William V with Museum. We've got the majority with National Treasures Baseball and Chris T with Tops Chrome Black. So we got a little bit of a lineup coming for you. Got some great stuff to rip. As we are getting here into uh, getting closer to six, uh, five thirty, almost six. How about a Mike Piazza refractor? Chavez and Guerrero. I'm sorry, collegiate football. You're right, James. It's the same. You got collegiate football. I'm sorry. It's the same color as this year's 2020 baseball. My fault, James. You did get football. Right there. Collegiate football. I got you. It's the same color as the this year's baseball. That's why it fooled me. Nice you, Chang. So that's why I said baseball. Because it's the same color. I don't know why they would do that. Friggin' Panini. But no, you got football. I'm looking forward to that, too. Tim Linscombe. Trey Turner Refractor. Devers and Semi. Now, if, you know what, James? It pays to read stuff sometimes, and I didn't read it, so that's on me, buddy. Ozuna, Holson. There may not, there may not be math, but there's definitely reading. Yeah, there may not be math, but there's definitely reading, and <laughs> I did not do that. That one is totally my fault. There's an Arosa Reina rookie. Longoria Refractor, Albies, and George Brett on a nice throwback photo. Tice, Carew, Springer, Cody Bellinger beam team, Vladdy, Senior, Expo, Castro. I know, right? Yeah, I'm hoping it happens for you. Scherzer, Sutsugo, and DeGrom. And last pack for you, Mark. You got Tony Gwynn, Lorenzo Cain, Loriano, uh, Fernandez, Rogers, and Granke. So there you go. There's your box. No Judge or Robert, but you did get a nice Arosa Reina rookie. You got Bo Bichette rookie, and you got the Brousseau. Brousseau to 25. So that's not a, not a bad box there. That is Stadium Club Chrome. If yeah, anybody wants to drink, wants to get some Stadium Club Chrome, we definitely got more of that. One fifty a box, am I right? Yep. Yeah, one fifty a box. Great price on that Stadium Club Chrome. Bald Ridge with some ultimate draft. Here we go, Bald Ridge with some ultimate draft. You got it, Mark. Thanks for jumping in. Here we go. All right, we've got 
Masao Urbina. Masao Urbina. Huh? Are you doing GPK right? No, I'm doing uh, Ultimate Draft. Oh. Not getting a GPK for a moment. Okay. I might, I might want to rip that just for shit. You got it, buddy. Justin Lang to 75. Justin Lang to 75. Destinations, Kansas City, Ben Hernandez for Baldridge. Baldridge, you're a Royals guy, so that might be good for you. Ben Hernandez. Here's Jared Jones. Jared Jones. Alika Williams, destination Tampa Bay, 19 of 25. Alika Williams. And your last one. How about three of five? Justin Foscue, Future Stars. He's, going to, he's in the uh, Rangers organization. That's a nice looking red. Three of five, Foscue. Foskew, three of five. That's cool. There you go, Baldridge. Nice Leaf Ultimate draft. And Richard M. coming back up with some historic autos and a Bowman's Best. And Jesse A. with G GPK. National Treasures fo Collegiate Football for James M. And Topps Chrome Black for Chris T. Is our lineup. Nobody after Chris T. So if you want to jump in, just get in. And you'll be after Chris in that top chrome black. You got it, Baldrick. All right, here we go. Historic autographs for Richard. We just tear these boxes because they are packed so tightly. Can't get out these cards any either other way. Four Beckett slabbed autographs. First one, here we go. Charles Nagy. Wow. Charles Harrison Nagy right there on an index card. Harrison. Charles Nad Nagy for Richard M. Jim Wilson. Jim Wilson. Jim Wilson on that one. Jesse Haynes. And your last one, Richard. Ed Roush. There you go. There's your four Beckett slabbed, just enormously slabbed historic autographs. Let's get into your Bowman's best. Let us get into your Bowman's best. See if we can get one of see what kind of box we're gonna get out of this. I mean, you're gonna get four chrome autographs and you're gonna get a lot, you know, a refractor in every pack. You're gonna get some color, chances of just some really cool looking stuff. Votto, Rizzo, Horner, Aquino, and Corey Kluber. Again, uh, buying in tonight, you get a raffle for every $50 you spend, and we got a 10-item raffle for you tonight. Aquino, Yelich, Jordan. That's outstanding. Jordan. And how about a Gratterall? I've been seeing this guy all over this product. Gratterall. Sorry, I forgot about, almost forgot about William V's museum collection pack that just kind of Snuck out there. William V, you're in the lineup. Breakthrough says Roberts in here. Let's find out. Grisham, Posey, Vogelbach, Ripken, and Alfaro.
We got Adele Hoskins. We got Azalea two fifty. We got Aquino franchise and Ostalasi refractor. All right, here we go. Here's your first autograph pack. Ed Howard, Andrew Vaughn. We got a Rosario Refractor. How about a Keston Hira negative? And Brian Reynolds is your first autograph. Brian Reynolds. First autograph. Keston Hira, franchise favorites. Or franchise 2020, negative. Ooh, yeah, that's going to be sick on the back. Dylan Cease, Max Meyer, Hendrick, and Brian Hassel. How about Gavin Lux on the franchise 2020 insert autograph out of 100? Or out of 150? That's yeah. That's, that's, one of the, that's actually cool. I'm not a huge Lux guy right now, but... That is... I think that was the one I saw in one of the like sample photos. Yeah. That, like, really turned me on to that insert auto. Fifty thing. to one fifty. Why is it kind of weird at the bottom? Of it? Oh, that's his legs coming out. Yeah, that's his legs. I noticed the one in the couple of the other one. Couple. Who hit this, Richard? That's Richard. Richard, that's a sick looking card, man. Yeah, Gavin Lux, on the franchise twenty twenty. Franchise twenty twenty. Insert auto. Check out your second mini. Yamaguchi, Hancock, Cole, Foscue franchise favorites, Nick Gonzalez refractor. Veen, Alonzo, Bryce Harper to 150. Harper to 150. Brian Hayes and Kellenick. Lux Lusardo Pearson. Here's a Robert franchise favorite. And Forrest Whitley. Machado, Bradley, Azale, Beau Bichette, franchise 2020, and Paul Goldschmidt. Gallon Refractor, Puck, Bailey, Aquino, and Nick Gonzalez, top prospect for the Pirates. Not bad there. It's a good auto to hit. Nick Gonzalez. Rutschman, Foscu, Altuve, Molina, Max Muncy. Yeah, Muncie Refractor Auto in this one. Max Muncie is your is your fourth autograph. All right, there you go. Got a couple Dodgers out of that box. Harper, the negative of uh, Hero there. Azale, the Gratterall Atomic and the Alvarez Parallel. Muncie Gonzalez, the Sick Lux out of 150, and the Reynolds. You got your autographs were Pirates and Dodgers. Pirates and Dodgers. No, they are uh, no John. They are not all refractors. Base autos are not refractors. So there you go, Richard. There's your box of best. Shop, you want to rip the GPK or no? Rip the GPK. Why not? All right. Shop's gonna come and rip this box of garbage pail kids. Well, maybe just something else too. We'll see. It is the last break of the year, right? Yeah. Fire it up. So last night of the year, I think I want to do something on camera. I've been shying away from the camera, admittedly, lately, folks. Um, but let's throw it back with Jesse and I right here. Some, some, some GPK. Hope everyone's having a, as good a holiday season as one could possibly have in a year like this. <clears throat> All right, I 
feel like I haven't sat here for a minute. The chair has Brandon's ass cheek marks in them. I, yeah. I kind of don't fit into them. <laughs> First pack, we got some sweet little Liberty, a Libby on some wave. Out of two ninety nine. What's up, Richard? What's up, Josh P? What's up, Bubble Pug? Jesse? Big breakthrough odds. John C? James M? Yes, the chair is nice and warm. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna sleeve up some of those hits that I think are cool. So let's let's harken back here to some garbage pail kids with your old friend Shop and Peepin Tom. Having a little fun at the end of the year. Anybody else lingering in the background right now that I'd like to say hi to? Chime in, folks. Who's out there right now? Here's Karate Kate. A little green out of $2.99. <laughs> I like this Brad Habit. Look, he's a spittoon. He spits into his own spittoon that funnels down into his head. For any of you kids that don't know what a spittoon is, it was an old Western thing. It was a basically a can they would have in the corner of the bar uh, or saloon where cowboys would, they would tell them to spit your tobacco there. Anyways. That's what Hall of Fame's about now, teaching the young kids about tobacco. <laughs> Just kidding, that's a joke. These softies out there. It's been a rough year, folks. I mean, I don't want to get too into that conversation, but man. And there's plenty of people that have had it way rougher than I have, obviously. But it's been a hell of a year for me personally. Challenges in almost every walk of life for me this year, folks. That's all I'm saying. Just for me personally. Um... But it's also been like a cool year, too, to see the hobby blow up in the way that it has this year. Um, really, I think, has got us all spinning our tops, first of all. Um, but, you know, maybe some hope that the hobby is maybe gaining some popularity in, in aspects or parts of the world or people that normally haven't seen it before and gaining some more exposure. Some value and, and whatnot like that. Mm -hmm. It's just been cool in that respect from my hobby perspective. Now I'm going to take a second to talk to Joanne, who dropped 40 bucks in, in the group chat. Tonight, here's my tip hat. Uh, this is a Christmas tip hat that Soup brought me today. It's a very sick. It's actually my new favorite Dodgers hat. Joanne, you're the first one to throw a little tip in the tip hat for my hat tonight. I know Brandon's hat has been tipped a little bit, but thank you, Joanne. He says, she says, thank you guys for all the fun and great cards you have ripped for me. Have some beer and pizza on me. Happy New Year. And, and Joanne's always looking out like that. Joanne's been really cool. The times we've gotten to meet her, well, I think it's been one, at least once or twice. Oh, and here's the uh, cousin, too, the, uh, the last guy. This is Spitting Spencer, but Joanne's always been a class act. In store, in the group chat. Happy to have you and people like you, Joanne. We need more people like you in the world just in general. Here's Smelly Sally. This is kind of a cool little X-Fractor. I like this. Out of 150. Um, beer and pizza. Beer and pizza, yes. <laughs> we, will, we will hoist one in your name tonight, Joanne. How does that sound? Thank you so much. It's been a wild year, folks. Oh, here's a cool purple rod wad. What a, a classic. <laughs> yeah. It has been a roller coaster. But I am glad this year's coming to an end, you know? And hopefully a challenge of a year like this maybe uh, spurs positive change in years to come. That's definitely one of my hopes for the new year. Um, how about New Year's uh, New Year's resolutions? Hey, thanks to John C for throwing a twenty spot into my uh, new Dodgers super chat hat. 
saying, really appreciate all you do. Hope 2021 brings some happy times. Also, keep up the guitar jams. Yeah. I might be able to work something out for you, John. Remind me again what your, what your wheelhouse is for those jams. And I'll see if anything pops into my head. This is a cool card. Ophelia Ornament. <laughs> I like it. It's perfect for the holidays. Out of 250. Um... I was going to talk, speaking of end of the year, you know, a lot of times, you know, people have New Year's resolutions this time of year, right? So I'm going to go to Soup. Soup, do you have any New Year's resolutions? Uh, yeah, it's really simple, but I probably will break it within the first week. Okay, what is it? Uh, work out and eat uh, less out. No fast food. Okay, Soup is hoping to work out, to exercise a little more, and eat less fast food this upcoming year we'll see how long that lasts i'm gonna give you i mean just because of what you just said i'm gonna give you three days you didn't sound too confident that you were gonna be able to keep well, that I mean, up i mean it's <laughs> it's, it's yeah where we're at right now and it all depends on how it goes i guess where's my phone can you grab my cell phone real quick because yeah. john c just uh, named, uh, I see a name in there that I know there's something pop into my head for you, John C. Thank you, sir. Watch this real quick. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Let me. Does John C. have a box coming up right now? No. He doesn't. He's just chilling. If I can, if I can find a chord progression real quick, there something comes to mind for you, John. Just give me a sec here. Rev a few more cards here for Jesse. Good old Uncle Jesse. You know, my uh, New Year's resolution is that I actually started a few weeks ago, and it's one of the reasons why I've been on such a a raging edge lately. I've been on, I don't know if any if anybody watching out there has, has used or have have used or those uh, those e-nicotine devices, like little portable ones. I used to smoke cigarettes a couple years back, and I kind of said, I want to tail off cigarettes, and I'm going to use these e-nic devices to help. Don't, don't fool yourself, folks. That ain't the way to do it. I'll be honest. So I used those things for about the last year and a half, almost two years. They're worse than cigarettes because you can smoke them everywhere. So I'm smoking, you know, four times as much. And it was stupid. But I've been off of those things for solid four weeks now, folks. Four weeks off of those. Which is good for me. And I'm going to keep that going into the new year. That's part of my New Year's resolution. Just a small one like that. But it hasn't been easy. If you don't smoke, don't start. Was the door not locked or what? No. Would you make sure everything's okay for me? Security. Anyways, here's another Joe Blow base refractor. How about anybody else? Any other New Year's resolutions out there? Mark O trying to get off some smokes himself. Breakthrough odds was two packs a day. Quick cold turkey. Wow. Did you kill anybody in the process? Because <laughs> I almost have. Soup knows. Yeah. Hey, that was the last pack for you, Jesse, by the way. But here's what I sleeved. Oh, Jesse's in the shop right now. <laughs> Jesse, come over here. Look at this. Jesse A, I was just ripping this box for. From left field. Thank you. <laughs> From left field. That bend over. Here's our camera. Bend over. There's Jesse A. Anybody who wants to get see what he see what he looks like. He's a nice, uh, nice looking Latino <laughs> male. He works for T-Mobile apparently, and uh, he loves right. Star Wars cards and other things like that. Right. Long walks on the beach. He's a Gemini. Uh, he's single. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jesse, hey everybody, what's up, brother? There was your garbage pail, kids. Yeah, Thanks for letting me rip that. Yeah. Might as well just, might as well just take this right here. Here, there's your sticker. I was gonna play a quick number if I could Thanks. for, for. Uh, for John C. real quick, if that's all right. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's 
terrible. Oh, thanks, John. I'm like, what? Where did that come from? That must have happened when Soup dropped my guitar earlier. Mm -hmm. One second. Here we go. John C. and Joanne, who threw a couple of ducats into the the super chat hat. No, I'm going to rip this for William V. Let's get back into it here, folks. It's the last night of the year for us, here on YouTube at least. We're going to be open here, brick and mortar, tomorrow for, for about as many hours as it takes to pack up the orders from tonight. And then we're going to... We're going to be closed for the rest of the weekend, folks, and uh, starting Monday, our brick and mortar is probably going to go to a, a local pickup mode starting Monday. Uh, here's a nice Jack Flaherty triple relic auto for William V out of 199 So yeah, starting Monday, 
Uh, just in order to keep everyone around us safe and uh, help stop spread the stupid COVID, we're going to start uh, stop allowing people to come into our shop once again. Uh, but we're going to try to do local uh, curbside pickup. You can order from us online starting at least for the month of January. Seems like the plan for right now. Um, so we're just going to do our part voluntarily, basically. Um, and we're going to try to be going online same times, maybe a little extended hours, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, folks, just so you know, online. Plus, don't worry, you know, HOFBC.com is open 24-7, so you can always order from us there. We ship around the world. You can select local pickup, all that good stuff, folks. So we're just going to kind of batten down the hatches uh, for another another month or so and, and see what, uh, you know, the month of February has to say about it all and reassess then. But uh, for now, we're going to just kind of stick online with you guys here. So, And hopefully, you know, I haven't really gotten a chance to talk much further about Brandon with Brandon about any of this. But hopefully Hot Hands will be here to help at least a little bit. Um, Should be. James M., I hope you know this box is coming up for you right here. Let's check it out. This is back when they... Oh, that's back when they put national treasures in wood boxes, folks. Nowadays, they just use cardboard boxes, but they make them seem like they're in the same style boxes. It's kind of cheap. They cheapened out on the boxes, and they've raised the prices on us. And I don't see that changing too much in the near future either. But, gosh, these products are cool. James M. right here. Let's see what you got. Mm. Okay. Okay. Use a little decoy. Top card, four out of five. The man, the myth, the legend, Sir Emmett Smith. Used to love Emmett Smith. Yeah. Used to love Emmett Smith. That looks like a little green parallel. I don't know if you can see the green on there, but that's cool. The low numbered E. Smith. Remember G. E. Smith? Does anyone know the reference of the person's name G. E. Smith? Without anyone giving it away, if anyone knows out there, that's a quick pop quiz. It's all my musician friends. Here's Amari Cooper, Relic, out of 99. Sleeping, sleepy time. Oh, James M., what is happening, buddy? Dropping knowledge. That's correct, though, James M. G.E. Smith was the uh, band leader for the Saturday Night Live band through, I want to say, most of the 90s and then some. But he, he was one of my favorites, still is. He's a great guitar player. Here's Bradley Chubb, rookie silhouette, RPA, out of 99. Who else is singing Sweet Caroline on their channel tonight, folks? Anybody? <laughs> There's a 101 for you, James. It's Jeremy Shockey. Wow. 101 yeah. autographed relic. It looks like it is maybe part of a number or something. Well, that's a name I haven't heard in a while. Yeah. Right? I can't tell what that relic is. It's kind of semi-rubbery. Maybe some glove or something. It's hard to tell. On number? There's your 101 there, buddy. Yeah. Old school. Cool. Yeah, how about Kurt Bankert? University of Virginia, one out of five, with a little 10th anniversary, probably some kind of a bowl patch or something. Brandon might know. 10th anniversary rookie patch auto there, one out of five. That's dope. Kurt Bankert. Someone is going to have to advise me on this child here. This young man. This child. This young, this young man. Child? Child. That's a dope patch there. It's clean autograph. Brandon, you heard of him? Nope. <laughs> From deep? No. Nope. You're up next. How about Jalen Samuels? Another sick RPA. Two out of five. Camping World, says CJ. That looks like a red parallel. Two out of five, so you're definitely hitting the low-numbered stuff out of this box, buddy. 
I hope the names are uh, okay for you, James. I haven't been entirely familiar with a ton of them yet. But the cards are dope. How about Royce Freeman out of 99? Royce Freeman out of 99. Looks like a little U of O. Oregon Ducks, huh? You always tell by their colors. One more and then a booklet. Uh, Christian Kirk out of 99. It's like Texas A&M there. I like the dark color on there. That's a cool card. And your booklet. It's 20 out of 49. Let's just open it up. Alan Lazard, Iowa State Cyclones. You got Patch on the left, you got Patch and Otto on the right. Alan Lazard, the lizard? Lizard. That's pretty sick. Pretty card. Pretty card. And uh, Tessa says Packers. Yeah. All right, then. I would not have known that. But that was a pretty decent box as far as getting some cool low-numbered stuff, James. Happiest of holidays to you, of course, James M. As happy as they can be in a year like this, as I've been saying to everyone all year long, or at least the last couple of weeks. We got Chris T, Mark O, and there's John C on some Bowman's best. I'm going to keep going if you don't mind. I'm kind of getting back into the, yeah, far away, man. the zone right now here. Chris T. Wow, I see what you mean, man. That, that razor oh, blade. Oh. I see what you mean on it. <laughs> you did oh, that my right gosh, now. yeah. yeah. Slices like butter. Yeah, that's why I opened stuff up on the top. So I don't get any of the card. You need All right. to be careful. <laughs> Oh Chris T. Any PC for your guys is yours, says Chris T. Once again, well, thanks, Chris T. I'll let you know if anything interesting comes out. Here's Cattell Marte, Ronald Acuna, and a little Juan Soto, a little yellow. Well, 17 out of 50 on the Soto. That's cool. Cool little insert for you, bud. And your auto. Green, parallel, Kansas City Royals. Who said they PC'd Kansas earlier? Baldridge. It was Baldridge, huh? Looks like Soler. Sure enough, Jorge Soler, 95 out of 99. I don't, I mean, obviously, uh, Chris likes Chrome Black. I really like Chrome Black. I think it's a cool product. I really like the technology. I think this is going to be, and kind of no pun intended, I think it's going to be kind of a dark horse product as far as, like, holding value and stuff like that. I really do. Yeah, I really do think it's, I mean, there's some of these cards, like the Jeter. We, we pulled a Jeter back here the other day. That's a $600 card. Just had a base Jeter autograph out of here. You know that Mike Trout we hit for that guy the other day is what? Probably 1500 bucks or something stupid. Who knows? I don't know. Trout stuff goes so crazy. Anyways, Chrome Black is a cool new technology that Topps did. And uh, if you missed out on it when it was 149 a box from us, I'm sorry. That's never going to be that low again. <laughs> but, man, 179 is still a pretty good buy. Thanks, Chris. Uh, let's get on some Leaf Ultimate Draft from Mark O here. Richard L. says he shook Solaire's hand once, and he's pretty sure he lost circulation. <laughs> so you're saying he's got strong hands, huh? All right, Mark, let's see what's going on with uh, one of our 
probably final remaining box. Is this the last one? I think this is the last box of Ultimate Draft in house. I think it is. Not, 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 uh, not going that. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but. John C. says, I'm finished grilling. Ooh, what you got going on on the grill, Johnny? Uh, we cooked up some steaks, and uh, Ralph's has, has these little, like, baby lobster tails for, like, three, four bucks. Hmm. Uh, finished grilling, going to miss my Bowman's best break. Possibly going to eat while it's fresh up the grill, so thanks in advance. Happy New Year. All right, that's coming up uh, in about, I don't know, this many minutes, John, like two minutes. Bowman's best is coming. Here's Marco with... Perdomo out of 75. You got Foscu out of 75 on the Future Stars. Those are nice cards. You got Hunter Brown on the Silver throwback. You've heard of Hunter Green. This is Hunter, Gr Hunter Brown. <laughs> Diego Cartaya. You got Ryan Zephyrjan. Where's Herman? By the way, speaking of strange Norwegian names, Is it 2021 and there's the Torque in the wow. last in the last box under our roof right now, and look at that, Mark O. Happy belated, my man. God, let me put it in a different sleeve because those just don't work for it. He found Torque. Wow. Boom, baby. Little end of the year magic happening tonight, folks. I mean, this is our last break of 2020, our last personal break night of 2020. We can go a little longer if you guys like. If you guys want to kick it up a notch, you know, we can start cracking beers and get stupid. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that. This this card right here is kind of setting me off. The last couple of boxes, I'm kind of getting a vibe right now. I mean, what's everybody else doing? Well, there's a vibe. There's a vibe on this side of the computer. What about on this side of the computer for you guys out there? John has a million Bud Lights apparently. Who's that? John. John who? John oh, C. John C. Wings, burgers, grilled veggies for the wife. Hey, grilled veggies are good for everybody. I love a good grilled veggie. How about some asparagus on oh, the grill? On the yes. grill. Uh, a million Bud Lights. That sounds good. Thanks to George M. Where's George M? Thanks to George M. We still have about a million Modellos in the fridge. <laughs> But uh, that sounds amazing. Look, I'm going to do your box right now, John. And then after the John's box, we got nothing in the lineup, folks. Um, beers are broke, sir. Offer oh, still stands. Is. Bowman Draft War. Oh, George M., keep it going. I'm going to jump into something. Good. That, that's what I'm talking about, George. All right. Torkelson counter. Three Torks for the night, folks. Three Torkelsons pulled tonight. Oh, John C's here. Cool. All right, John. Yeah, it's happening right now, buddy. I'll try to... Oh, I forgot that these... T <laughs> they, well, they changed it this year. These have always yeah. been wrapped in previous yeah. years, so I was just kind of on autopilot for <laughs> Bowman's Best. Mini boxes. Oh, give me a hard time over here. Soup. Autograph second and fifth uh, all right, all right. I'm gonna mix them up. I'm not gonna be like a Brandon here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mix them up, Just all like that, and see if we can, Ooh. and see if we can pull some fire for John C. And then, hey, you know, I'm gonna have to take a pause after this, and maybe uh, if anybody wants me to rip anything else, you better get it in the lineup by the time I'm done with this stack of packs. Otherwise, Brandon Fletcher's gonna rip for the rest of the night, and that's not necessarily a bad thing either. So. Here we go, John. Let's see, oh, we're starting off with Screwball out of 99. I mixed up those packs as good as I possibly could right now. And that's a gorgeous Tariq Screwball is what I call him. 62 out of 99. You watch. People are going to start calling him Screwball, too. And then you'll be like, oh, my gosh, it originated right here. I start trends. I don't follow them, folks. What can I say? It's just the way I was born. Say again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or I make fun of them. Yeah. I start them or I make fun of them. Here's Joe Adele, Pache, Torque, Freeman, and a little Jason Dominguez on a little die cut insert. Cool, cool, cool. I Bowman's Best is my favorite product of the year, John. See if 
You should probably know that about me by now, but if you didn't, now you do. Got a little Bo Bichette there, a little Bryce Jarvis, a little Marte. Shun Yamaguchi, Dubon, Juan Soto, Power Producers, Xander, and Tim Anderson, your second out of four autographs. Not a bad one. Tim Anderson's a beast. And the Sox are quietly putting a team together over there on the south side. I believe they're on the south side yes, of Chicago. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Not a 50-50 chance. <laughs> oh, it's going to catch on, Richard L. Here's Hancock, Detmers. Especially if he knew how to throw a screwball. I mean, that would be amazing. He should learn how to throw a screwball just because. Uh, here's a little Royce Lewis die cut refractor. I just kind of sleeve all these because I can kind of can't help but not. They're so shiny and cool. Oh, we got another Bowman's Best in for James L. in the lineup. Thank you, James L. I'll rip that for you if that was your intention. If you want Brandon, hey, tell me you want Brandon, and we'll get Brandon in a rip for you right now, folks. Uh, being the last night of the year, hey, let's, you know, you can request your breaker. If you want soup to break for you, fine. Gone. Oh, soup's gone, never mind. <laughs> if you want CJ, fine. If you want me, so your options are me, Brandon, the soup, or CJ. <laughs> Just leave it in your comments. There's a Luis Robert base. Oh, oh Jared oh, Schuster and Justin Foscu. Jared Schuster, leave it in your comment when you uh, when you place your order. Tell us who you want to rip your box for this last hour or whatever. We'll hang out a little bit later too if if it if it comes to that. We don't have to be done it at seven tonight, folks. We can we can get stupid, you know. Use a name like Lupid. Jacob DeGrom, Zach Veen. These are great. I love these cards. Is that Luis Robert, uh, home flag rookie? And behind him, little Jacob DeGrom, Atomic. Nice. Another Bowman's Best for George M. Cool. Keep the Bowman's Best coming. Do not mind ripping some more of that. Here's Robert Hassel on franchise favorites. Not numbered, but they look like they all should be. Oh, Gavin Lux, Refractor Base Rookie. Or Refractor Rookie. Base Refractor Rookie. Thank you. Votto, Rizzo, you got Aquino, all the good ones, and an O, and Puck. <laughs> Autograph, Robert Hassel. Don't hassle the Hoff. Do not hassle him. Padres are trying to put some things together right now, too, so who knows where Robert Hassel might fit in the mix. <clears throat> but you never know. Padres stuff could be coming up. I like Padres. They've always been kind of one of my, eh, I want to say maybe top five favorite teams, just because they're West Coast. They'd probably fit into my top five or six. Here's Cabrera, purple out of 250. Acuna Refractor. And a little Robert Pawson. Miggy, getting Miggy with it. Thank you, John C. Happy New Year to you as well. Hope uh, 2021 is much better. Let's see. Comes in this last pack for you. There's Tatis, there's Brennan McKay, and there's Vlad Jr. I believe I hit all the autos. Let me just double check on all my sleeve stuff. Hassel, one. Schuster, two. Tim Anderson, three. Tariq Screwball out of 99, four. There it is. Cheers, John C. Thanks, buddy. All the best to you and the family. 
so what is going on with this? Oh, that's why it's dragging. All right. Well, hold on one second. We've got chair issues. James L., was it your intention to have me break that box for you? George M., you as well, and uh, Ed B., some heritage. Ed B., Brandon's going to do your heritage. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Unless it was specified on the comment or whatever. If you really want me to break your heritage, I'll break your heritage. I don't even care. James L., do you care? James L., yes, sir. Thank you, James L., I appreciate that. All right, I feel honored. Lee Iacocca here. Still a lot of unwrapping. Got a few photos for Brandon to see. Hits from National Treasure. Cool. We'll pull that up on the email in a few minutes. Or Brandon, you could probably pull that up if you open up a new tab back there. Just click on the Gmail button. Oh, look at that. I hit another autograph in the first pack. This one's a Dodger. It's Bruce Dar Greater All. James, who do you like? Who's your team? I forget. James L. It's a nice little refractor auto uh, there of a champion. And who knows a guy like this? Who knows a guy like this? You know, he's got a strong arm, but he's only used for short. Oh, my God. Wow. What the hell is happening back there? Jeez. James, James M's pictures are freaking nasty. Okay, hold on. Wow. Well, I could probably access those. Maybe I'll show everybody. Yeah. Maybe I'll show everybody through the magic of screen sharing right now. Let me see. Let me see. Should I start from the top? Okay, everybody. All right, here we go. We're going to take a pause on James L's box because the guys in the back opened up James's James M's email. I'm going to show it. Follow me to the email screen. <laughs> here it is. So here we go. We got... Yeah, Lou Gehrig. It's a cool little piece of Gehrig's legendary material. How do I forward? There's There's an error error. Oh, there we go. Here's the next one. Who's that? Pettit? Yeah, Pettit. Andy Pettit, autograph pl printing plate in that box? Mm -hmm. And this was the one he, he scored as a raffle prize, right? Yeah. Ken Griffey Jr. autograph, one Beautiful. out of three. Beautiful. That's it. That's all of them? Oh, okay. Oh, there's the back of the Pettit, back of the Griffey, back of the Lou Gehrig. That is tight. Well, James, congratulations, my man. That's uh, pretty darn cool, if you ask me. Thanks for sharing those with everybody. Unbeknownst to you, they went to everybody now, but <laughs> I'm sure you don't mind the brag. All right, continuing with James L. here. Uh, ooh, there's Torque Refractor. Let's leave up the Torque Refractor. Got some other refractor in here. How about a Bo Bichette Atomic Rookie Refractor? Okay. That's cool. And something else, maybe some color. How about Bobby Witt Jr.? Out of 150. That was a hell of a pack. Those three guys right there. Those are nice uh, young names there. Bobby Witt Jr., uh, Bo Bichette, and Spencer Torque. Nice little pack there. Uh, you know, folks, Cunha Refractor, there's a little Riley Green franchise favorites. It's been such a tough year. 
<laughs> I can't I can't get over saying that. I just, you know, it, it really has. But I'm happy to be on camera right now and just doing some rips for you guys. A couple of regular dudes up in the group chat right now. Some guys that have been supportive of us over the years. Here's Max Meyer. Maximus Meyer. Asa Lacey on the top of this pack with Andrew Vaughn. Little Yelly. Little Woo Dream Weaver. I believe you can get me through the night. For Bubble Pug, you got a little Casey Mize and a little Tatis. Casey Mize, a little cool die cut getting a sleeve. What's up, Ed B in the group chat? Showing his showing himself. Meyer possible Meyer PC starting for James L here. Who knows? There's Zach Veen and little Tatis franchise favorites. These aren't numbered, but they all should be. I know it wouldn't make much sense, you know, because you get one in like every two packs, but they're really shiny and colorful and cool looking. Hendrick. You know, I know I know cards have gone up in value, folks, and stuff like that. It's hard for a lot of people to maybe to afford to collect cards. But if you do collect, try to never lose that spirit of collecting. Don't allow yourself to get caught up in the monetary value of cool Gavin Lux refractors and Andrew Benintendi on-card on signatures numbered out of 50. Don't get caught up in all that. We will not bow to corporate sponsors. <laughs> I was trying to be serious, and then this sweet Andrew Benintendi comes up. But seriously, just try to have fun. I like to, I love to look at the colors of the cards, you know, inspect the designs, check out all the cards, and just enjoy, you know, what is at the core of the hobby, and that is collecting. That's a great looking Benny right there. Rosario, Bellinger, Bradley, Puck, and a little Jeter Downs. Die cut refractor. Solak, we got Altuve, Molina, we got a little Ed Howard, and Shun Yamaguchi. You buy, we rip. You watch, we ship. That's basically the way it goes in four steps here, folks. Click that link that's attached to that comment right there in the group chat. You make a purchase, we'll open it while you watch on camera, and then we ship your cards for free. It's that simple. And we're not done here tonight. We've got at least 35 minutes in the scheduled programming this evening. And we might be willing to go. Well, I'm willing to go longer, Brandon. Brandon is being kind, I think, but he probably just wants to drink beer. I want to drink beer as well. Maybe we can find a way to do both, folks, at 7 o'clock. I don't know. Jared Kalanick here. We got Pete Alonzo. We got sick little gold Austin Meadows out of 50. The designs are really growing on me on this year's Bowman. It's like a cross between some kind of a tie-dye, like a spin art tie-dye, and... What are you calling it? Lightning? Yeah. A Justin Foscu and a Nolan Jones. Richard L. saying, Some of the pure, quote, sports card investor channels tick me off. Yeah, I sell some cards, but I have a PC collecting. Is the value of the hobby not scalping? I'm not exactly sure. It sounds like there's a lot of information that you were trying to pick pack into like one contrite sentence which for me it didn't work there Richard I'm not quite sure what you're, what you're saying but I'm open to a conversation about it if you want to explain as I look into uh, James's last pack in the box has a little wit hassle a little posy 
A little Bobby Witt favorites and a little Freddie Freeman. I'm going to sleeve up this Witt. So there's James's box of best. Four autos, Logan Webb, Benintendi out of 50, Meyer, and Graterall. Not a bad box. <laughs> can't go wrong with Bowman's best, folks. That's why it's my favorite. You just can't go wrong. It's a great box for the cost. Even, even, even at like a $300 cost, it's a great uh, $300 retail price or whatever. When that price goes up, it's still a great product. It really is. If you're getting it at 219 right now, if you got it at 209 last week, you know, you're stoked because they just go up. Most of the Bowman stuff, I would say anything with Bowman name on it goes up. General rule of thumb. Uh, George M., this one's for you, buddy. Happy New Year to you, James L. Richard L. is talking about people who use the hobby to flip cards and not collect. Well, you know, what, tell me, so tell me, let's have some conversation about that, Richard. Tell me, uh, what about that bothers you? What about people flipping cards bothers you? So it's like this. I try to equate the hobby to almost any other marketplace. I use the automobile industry a lot. Um, you can use like the uh, real estate industry, although real estate sucks right now, but home flipping. There's people that buy homes to live in them and to make their own. And there's people that buy homes to flip them and make a profit. There's people that buy cars to collect or buy automobiles to own and to make a family in and stuff like that. Other people that buy vehicles to flip them. Um, I feel like it's like that in every industry, though... I don't think this industry has seen it as bad it is, or as rampant as it is now, until the hobby blew up this year and started gaining the attention and traction of guys. Thanks to guys like Gary V talking about, hey, you can make quick money if you do it right. And this is what Tops and Panini and all these manufacturers wanted to bring to the hobby for the last couple of years. They wanted to explode the hobby onto different platforms, to different people, to different people that have different kinds of money, sneakerheads, jewelers, investors, real estate guys, automobile guys, pop culture guys, underground LA DJs like Steve Aoki, guys like Mark Wahlberg. They're trying to get anybody and everybody who's kind of different involved just to get the hobby out on the more eyes and try to you know increase the popularity, thereby increasing the demand, thereby increasing the value. Since you can't really just make more Bowman's Best to keep to, you know, you can't print as much Bowman's Best as demand. You have to create demand somehow. And I think Tops and Panini, not so much Upper Deck, but Tops and Panini have done a good job at trying to create some demand um, without overprinting cards. Now, you know, Tops and Panini have added additional product lines, which is fine. Every, again, every uh, marketplace in the world does that. Toyota has, has multiple automobile lines. Every, every automobile company makes more than one brand of car. Tops and Panini, no, no different. But of each product they release, they only make a certain amount. Of each product. Here's a nice Dylan Cease out of 50. Well, I'm yammering, yammering on. So they can release multiple lines of products, you know? But each of those lines, like say there's some new lines this year. What? Chrome Black, Allen Aguirre Chrome, Top Stadium Club Chrome. There's three new lines that came out this year that they may or may not keep around, but they probably didn't print a whole ton of. Either way. So you'll see products like that probably going up in value over the next couple of years. As people realize how cool it is, they just happen to come out in a year and in a time that was so strange and wild, a lot of those new release products kind of got overlooked. 
And kind of the market got a little bit, a little bit wacky on those, but I think they're gonna kind of hold their own bones as time goes on and people realize, man, those product was actually really cool and that was the first year Tops put it out. <clears throat> Happy New Year, Bracken. Marco likes to do both. When money's tough, I made money, but I still have a wonderful collection I'll never sell. C Vale 22. Uh, as a sneakerhead and former employee of Nike, I could not agree more, he says. There you go, C Vale. Uh, James M, for me, I looked around and saw I had way too much stuff, so I had to sell some. I still have way too many cards. And that's that's a totally different thing, James. If you got to sell off cards to make room for your new child or whatever that is, that's a completely different thing. Um, than I think what Richard L. was talking about. Richard's just talking about the investor types that just want to come in. They And I met, I've met guys like that in our own shop and in other shops that I know. There are guys that will admit, I don't know anything about sports or the hobby. I just know I could make a shit ton of money doing this. You know what I mean? And you can. You play big, you can win very, very big, folks. You play small, you can potentially win big. Here's Nick Lofton. So, and we're talking about, you know, those investor guys, those are the guys that are dropping 5, 10, 20, 30 grand on one box of cards, guys. You know what I mean? We're not talking about two, three hundred bucks, which is a lot of money for me, two, three hundred bucks. But for some of these guys that have been attracted to the hobby, two, three hundred bucks is, you know, they blow their nose with two, three hundred bucks. Here's a Kyle Lewis Atomic. That's sick. Love the Bowman's Best Atomic Refractors. I'm going to try to read some more comments. Let me see. I just hate how they buy it all, even with multiple people standing there waiting along with them. I'm not sure where that comment came from. Pan Kizzle. Something about buying something. Never looked into it. Got some good retail bar cards. Been able to return, get a good return on them. Yeah, anyways. I have not been to Steve Aoki's shop, but uh, I have chatted with him briefly on Instagram messaged him and said, hey, you know, we're the oldest oldest shop in L.A. <laughs> if you need anything, let me know, knowing that he's new to cards. But he has obviously surrounded himself with a couple of friends or buddies or whatever that he has hired to uh, help him do cards, even though obviously Steve Aoki is still learning. You know, he's a popular dude. He's got how many million followers on Instagram? Soup, tell me. Steve, Steve, I want to know the number, Yeah, look Here's a Jorge Alfaro out of 99, but that's the idea, you know? They just want Steve Aoki to buy in. They give him his own set, and then he and he promotes it in front of his... Hold on. Jesus. Five million followers, we're calling it? And that's all Tops wants. And it costs Tops, you know, five $5,000 to make a, a Steve Aoki set, probably. You know, probably not much more than that, <laughs> you know? 8.9 million. 8.9 million followers. And he's been tweeting about it all the time and tweeting about it and posting about it in his 8.9 million followers. That's all Tops wants to do. Now, if you're shopping at Walmart and Targets, you should probably not be even following our channel <laughs> if you regularly shop at retail stores because that's a whole different animal. I don't even want to get into the retail stores. It's just a mess, the retail baseball card industry. Uh, here is Everson Pereira. I thought that might have been something different, but no. See, Vale, yes, I did watch the Steve Aoki documentary. I forget what it's called, but it was a fun documentary. It was an interesting one. And, yeah, they did they did talk a lot about his dad creating Benny Hanna. So, yep, his family's probably got a couple of ducats in the back pocket. No lie, Rite Aid has been coming through on Prism. You find them Prism boxes at Rite Aid. There you go. Our Rite Aid down the street just closed, and to my knowledge, they never had any sort of sports stuff going on. Here's a Cody Bellinger, Power Producers rookie, and Brian Reynolds autograph. It's hard to find retail stuff. The retail stuff is a mess. Um, if you find it, great. But mostly if you do find it, you're at risk of, I've heard more stories than I can count on all my appendages about guys 
picking up a retail box and it being filled with garbage. People take those retail boxes and because Target and Walmart and Rite Aid have a will refund anything for any reason policy, they, take, they buy them, they take them home, they take the cards out, they fill it with the same weight that it was, they get their shrink wrap machine, they shrink wrap it and they return it to Target, no questions asked, and it goes back on the shelf because Target doesn't give a shit. Pardon my French. So if you're buying at Walmart and Target, you know, kind of doing a disservice to most of the hobby shops as well. But I understand, you know, if you can find something at Walmart and Target, you're only going to be spending 25 bucks or something like that. Most of the hobby stops, hobby stuff is up pretty high, but it's definitely cooler. It's better. It's well worth buying the hobby products and investing in hobby cards at a time when it's definitely a lot more about investing. It's just the way it has evolved, folks. You either jump on the wagon and be a part of it and roll with it, or you fight it and hate it. Here's Trey Mancini, Casey Mize in the last pack for George, Justin Dunn, Dan Vogelbach, and Cabrian Hayes. Sacento popping in to say, can't return cards anymore. Well, I don't know about that, but as far as I know, our local Targets and Walmart still let you return anything for any reason. Thank you, George M., for that rip of Bowman's best. On that note, I'm going to let Fletcher, unless Ed B., do you want me to rip your box? Was that your intention? If you don't care either way, I'm going to let Fletch rip it. He said he didn't care. If you don't care, I'm going to let Fletch rip it. And, and maybe, Brandon, you can continue that conversation and give some of your opinion, you know? Yeah. All right. Nobody in the lineup after this either. Let's get in. Let's continue yeah. this for another while. we got still 20 minutes. we got 20 more minutes, folks. we got 20 more minutes. Here's Ed with his heritage. Yeah, retail, uh, I basically stopped doing it. Um I just have stopped trying to even even look for it even when I go to Target or Walmart just to buy groceries or whatever. I do all of my work here. You know, I get all my cards here and support hobby shops because that's where really that's where it should be. And just the uh, the retail mongers out there just want to make money off of retail. I'm not about that. So that's kind of where I'm at with all that. Plus, I think, you know, Hobby shops are cool. You know, it's, I, I found this place 10 years ago, or even more. Here's Bob Gibson. That's cool. Bob Gibson, one of the great, game's greatest moments. I found this place 10 years ago looking for a price guide to price some Pokemon cards, believe it or not. And I would like Charles Grosso to clarify his comment. I'd like to maybe... I'm not sure what you're saying, Charles Grosso, but maybe clarify that. I have no idea what that, any of that means, but it could be an interesting conversation. Oh, no, I know that. I know what he's talking and, about. Uh, by the way, C. Valle Frankensons is still a big, it's still a big uh, warehouse where there's a bunch of independent vendors that sell. So the problem with Frankensons, they're all independent vendors. Anybody can buy a table and do business there. You never know who's going to be doing business with you. You could get ripped off. I've heard a lot of stories about people getting ripped off at Frankensons. There's maybe one or two dealers at Frank's that I would trust. Other than that, shop at a trusted hobby shop like Hall of Fame that's been around for 40 years. Yeah, and that's basically what it is. There's a rookie performers of Jordan. As Especially we're... now that the hobby is up so much, you don't want to risk any of that. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I know that Charles. Uh, Charles, I know what you're talking about. Is I've seen a lot of that all the time, where you got the vendors, the retail vendors outside, just basically moving it like you know. MJ Holding Pen. What does that mean? That that's the people who stock retail. So it's like uh, it's like GTS for you. So the you know I've seen the people. Yeah, that's the that's the uh, the the vendor company. Yeah, they'll you know those guys. Those guys are basically those guys are basically moving. Oh, where did you see that video? There's a there's a video link showing the the retail vendor putting retail stock that was supposed to go into a a Walmart into his own car and selling it out of his own car. That's what you're telling me. That's what y'all are telling me right now. Yeah, that's what I'm that, telling. That that is really happening. Basically, they're moving it out the back like mob bosses would like no sell cigarettes. No way, out the back. Charles Grosso, send that to our email. 
Dee Dee Gregorius whiteboarder. No, that's true. That happens a lot more than you think it would. Here's a Dee Dee Gregorius whiteboarder. That's kind of cool. Very cool, Didi Gregorius white border. So here, I mean, I'll, I'll mention it now that we're kind of on this topic of this is what happens when an industry that was uh, just two years ago was a night, you know, was just a solid little, you know, growing kind of a core industry. When it blows up in this magnoscope, stuff like this starts to happen more and more and more often. Break-ins. Our shop has had five attempted break-ins in the last two months, folks. There have been multiple shops in Southern California that have been attempted break-ins. I have heard of some of our, there was one of our distributors who I had heard had an inside job and people forklifted thousands of dollars of product out of the distribution company, out through the roof. I mean, people are going nuts. It's stupid. We've had to invest in it thousands of dollars of extra security to protect our business right now. It's been absolutely nuts. This whole year has been a whirlwind for everybody. And trust me, I've been in the hobby literally my whole life. 42 years, I was born into it. And, you know, <laughs> I've seen it all, basically. Some nice Mike Trout Award winners there. I thought I had. <laughs> Stuff's nuts, folks. Pete Alonzo Award winners. Ryan McBroom. Rookie, we're going through this box of high number. Yo, we need some people in the lineup, folks. It's almost seven o'clock. If uh, we need to get some people in the lineup, if we're going to keep on going, let's get some people in the lineup. Reese Hoskins and Bryce Harper. Who's going to be next, folks? Who is going to be next? Yeah, Walker Bueller. That's an interesting card. Yeah, it's an action variation of Walker Bueller. So there's another variation for you, a little action variation. Nice Walker Bueller card there. Pruitt. Yeah, I've seen counterfeit cards. Unfortunately, I've been victimized by counterfeit cards, Josh. I've seen it before. Yep. I have seen it before. That happens. Thank you. More often than I would like. David B. Nice archives retired. Right on. We got it, David. Yeah, counterfeits. I've seen those. I've been victimized by those. Nice Cody there. But yeah, I mean, hobby shops are where you want to go. Trusted, legit. And plus, you get to meet a community of people like uh, like I've gotten to meet here and become friends with that is really unparalleled. You know, that's kind of the, the joy of the hobby for me is the friends that I've made just by being here. And I get to do some fun stuff, you know, get to rip cards for you guys and hang out. Really enjoyed that. It looks like we got a relic here. We'll put that to the back. Chris Wallach, Wellington, Herrera, and it's Victor Robles, Cub now, Clubhouse Collection, little jersey. A counterfeit card bubble pug is a fake card. So let's just take uh, this card right here. It's kind of like counterfeit money. Okay, so it's 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 a fake card that wasn't produced by the company it was supposed to be produced. Clippard, Cortez, Sogard. So that's, it's just a fake, yeah. Thank you, Richard. We appreciate that for, for sure. <laughs> yeah, we're not picking up the phone tonight, folks. So if any of you are trying to call, we're not picking it up. Here's the Ernie Banks Chicago Subs Cubs play, uh, Let's Play 2. Nice little uh, Ernie Banks set there. Yeah, hobby is... I mean, just go to go to your local hobby shop, and if not, you know that's what we're here for. That's why we have a. Uh, that's why we. Uh, that's why we're online. Hall of Fame is open twenty four seven. You know you can trust us, and that's why we've been open for forty plus, almost forty years now. Alec Mills, nice little uh, photo there. Lamont Wade Jr., Luis Robert. Nice. 
It's a really good rookie card of him. Nice clean on the black. Yeah, I was just about ready to do that. All right, so, God, this was several years ago. I had acquired a, what I was hoping, and even when, when, I, had, when I had acquired it, I kind of knew it, it may not be real, but I was just taking a chance, and it didn't cost me really anything, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But I had acquired a 52 Mantle, and so I brought it into the shop, to try to, and we brought it in here. We tried to figure out what it was, and um, and um, just we were gonna get graded. And I hadn't sent in anything yet, and so I brought it in. And Eric and uh, Shop and I were like, "All right, you know, look, we're gonna have a little story." So we did some photos. We did a couple videos, I think, and we sent it off to Beckett, and it came back as counterfeit. And we learned why, and. You know, we, we took a uh, fine tooth uh, fine tooth comb to it, and it was a counterfeit fifty two mantle. But I mean, that's just what happens. I didn't, you know, it didn't cost me anything. I was, I didn't I didn't lose a ton of money. Um, but it was it was interesting. It was an interesting lesson in kind of how counterfeit cards look and how they're produced. And we were able to kind of dissect that card. We just we basically literally dissected the card after we got it back after it was deemed. Um, inauthentic, and we dissected it and found out why it was counterfeit. And that was fun. I mean, we had a really good time with it. I'm the norm. Thank you. <laughs> I like norm. I can be norm. I'm good with that. But yeah, I mean, that was our uh, 52 Mantle extravaganza here at Hall of Fame where uh, we had a counterfeit 52 Mantle. Here's Sutsugo on the Chrome. That's two nine ninety nine. Couple more packs for Ed B here. Yeah. Let, uh, we got ten minutes, everybody, before seven o'clock. We got to get some active. Uh, we got to get some activity. And if there's no activity, then we're gonna raffle at seven and call it a night. Other, if there is activity, then we'll keep going. But we got to have some activity, everybody. So 10 minutes to go. Last call, 10 minutes. As long as there's activity and there's stuff to rip, then we will keep going. Smack talk. Mac, this is the uh, get it out of the ocean picture. Oh, yeah. There's the Max Muncy get it out of the ocean picture. So cool. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, 10 minutes to go. If we can get action and we can keep rolling, we will keep rolling, folks. Otherwise, we're going to call it a night and call it a year in 10 minutes if there's no uh, act if there's no, no activity. Last pack for you. Akiyama there, Robel Garcia, and Garrett Cole. So there is your box, Ed B. Uh, Sutsugo, the Luis Robert, the Victor Robles is your hit, the Bueller um, action variation, and the Gregorius White. Yeah, I, just want, I just want to point out, David Butler, thanks again for the little super chat there. And that's a great, you know, that's a great example of someone that says, you know, that's fine. You watch all the time. You can't afford to buy in much. But, hey, kick us down a fiver for the entertainment every time you, every time you can. And that is so dope, dude. David Butler, we appreciate Thank it. Thank you, David B. We really appreciate it. And I've got your uh, archive signature series right here. Hopefully we can, re we can get you something awesome out of this. A little karma for you if you, if you like Thank you for the super chat, David. Let's see what we got here for you. Come on. Let's get something huge. Let's see what we got. Red Sox. Mike Timlin. Mike Timlin. I was thought it might like look at the picture. I thought it might be Wakefield. 12 of 66. Mike Timlin for you on the archives retired. Tops numbers that looks like 06 tops or 07 tops. It's a tops 07 tops. Mike Timlin, there you go, buddy. Thank you again for the uh, little super chat. We appreciate everything. We appreciate that a lot, and we appreciate uh, your appreciation for sure. Good lord, that was a lot of appreciations. <laughs> My god, all right, 10 less than 10 minutes, folks. We need activity. If there's no activity, then we're going to raffle and call it a night here in about 10 minutes. 
If we have activity, we'll stay here and we'll keep ripping as long as there's stuff to rip. That's kind of the deal. So if you want us to hang around with you guys and, and rip, then we just need product to keep flowing through. Otherwise, we will be raffling off in about eight minutes. We got 10 raffle prizes, folks. 10 of them. 10 raffle prizes. You see them on the left-hand side of the screen. Every 50 you get in um, gets you a spot in the raffle. Uh, Instagram is Hall of Fame Baseball Cards. There are Charles. I'll send the link to them. Soup's is going to send the link to our Instagram page. Hall of Fame Baseball Cards YouTube. Tell them a little bit about Yeah. Hall of Fame Baseball Cards. Hall of Fame Baseball Cards on the YouTube. HOFBC.com. We try to keep it simple across. Hall of Fame Baseball Cards, the flamethrower. Hall of Fame Baseball Cards, the cereal. Hall of Fame Baseball Cards, the lunchbox. And my personal favorite, Hall of Fame Baseball Cards, the talking doll. Me. Me. <laughs> it's a beautiful day for collecting. Beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> merchandising. Merchandising. We'll see him in Hall of Fame Baseball Cards, too. The quest for more money. <laughs> Brian K., you guys have been great this year. Let's hope 2021 is better than 2020. Thank you for the super chat, Ryan K. We appreciate it, man. That's amazing. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> Spaceballs 2. The quest for more The search for more money. Amazing. Seven minutes to go, guys. We need some activity if we want to keep on ripping. Um... Again, raffle tonight. We have 10 different items that we're going to sticker um, and that we're going to raffle off. And they're listed right there. That's basically 1 through 10. Michael C., thanks for all the hits. 14, thanks for the super chat. Michael C., you are awesome. Thanks for all the hits. We appreciate it. Chris T. is still looking for a box battle. Yeah, anybody want a box battle on a box of Bowman draft? High card value takes, the bo takes both boxes. Chris T. wants a box war. A true box. True box war. One box versus another box. A Bowman draft. Let's end the year with a massive box yeah. war. We're styles. Box draft. One box versus another box. High card value takes both boxes. That is some uh, high stakes, high stakes uh, gaming right there. Chris wants to do it. Is there anybody else in... Who wants to get that done? Anybody else want to do that? Chris T wants to. Is anybody else interested in a high stakes box war of Bowman Draft? That would be fun to end it, to end this year on that. What can we, that would be very fun to do. Very fun to do. <laughs> uh, maybe tomorrow, Sue. Yeah, maybe nice. tomorrow. Who wants to get that done? Chris T. Break breakthrough odds wants a box war on Bowman Draft. Chris would even let you pick the box. What box you would rip? We'd probably do that for you. Baldridge says he's gonna oh, do it. Okay. Baldridge is Baldridge in on a box war? So each of you needs to purchase a, a yeah. box of Bowman Draft. Sure <laughs> so if you guys want to do that, you each need to purchase a box of Bowman Draft. Personal breaks. Personal breaks, please. Purchase a box of Bowman Draft on personals, and we will do that box war for you. Yeah. That's the topic, right? yeah. Yeah, Bowman Draft. Bowman Draft Jumbos. Bowman Draft Jumbos at two ninety nine. dollars High card value takes both boxes. Just to let you know, high card value takes both boxes. That's how we're going to do this. We're going to open up both boxes, and the high card value takes both. This is uh this is gonna be interesting. This is a first for our, uh, we have not done it like this on this channel yet. 
This is definitely some high-end stuff right now. <laughs> Michael C. hasn't even been around that long, but he already knows who, yeah. who's into the Bowman draft here yeah. lately. It's Andrew S. Where's <laughs> Andrew S.? <laughs> we could get a four-way going on, or maybe a three-way. Ooh, that'd be crazy. Andrew and Mike. Jeez, and Andrew that would be and, a lot. Andrew and Chris and Baldridge. Woo! Chance to win some big stuff. <laughs> Um, what or who, who determines high card value? We determine the high card value based off well, of... No, not necessarily. No. Uh, well, it was, what's his name, Chris, who set it up, you know, but traditionally, Chris, the way we have determined high card value, we have used, do you still have your app? Yeah, that's what I mean. We have used the Beckett Price Guide app yeah. uh, for anything... But this is so current, they should have some pricing already. They may not have any pricing. We may have to go to eBay. We may have to go to eBay or whatever. If it's the two guys that are jumping in right now can decide for themselves how they want to do it. I don't want any peace in that. Yeah. <laughs> so if we're going to do that, we need to definitely establish some clear and cut guidelines on how the winner is determined. Most recent eBay listing. Okay. That's what uh, Breakthrough would want to do. Win the crowd, win your box. Is that what we're doing? We're doing gladiator style? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> win the crowd, win your box. Thumb up, thumb down, and it starts off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. yeah. <laughs> Last three average. Hey, I was told there would be no math. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't have any sales coming through yet. I won't say that much. <laughs> Unfortunately, there are no sales coming through. We need to have this happen soon. I mean, are we just talking about it, or are we just, or are we gonna do it? Why do you need the shop number, Baldridge? I don't want to talk to anybody on the phone. Right? We're not talking to anybody on the phone. I don't know why you need the number. You got two minutes, guys. If those sales don't come through in two minutes... Yeah, if they're not going to come through in two minutes, then we're not going to do it. That's okay. It's okay. I don't have to do it. I don't care if we do it or not. Yeah. Danny D got something to rip. All right. Cool. I'll rip that high number. Why the people are figuring this out. Bought him some time. Say that. We bought you some time with some heritage high number. Thank you, sir. Jamie G, bought you guys some time to figure it out. Oh, we got a 1971 original card inside, a little buyback. Let's see what we got going on here. How about Wayne Simpson on a 50th anniversary buyback? There you go. So that's an, that's an original 71 tops that they stamped and put back in the product. All right, let's check out your regular high number. All right, there we go. And again, if there's nothing ready to go after I'm done ripping this box, we're gonna raffle and call it a night. Garlic, rookie. Zara, nothing really in there. It is 7 o'clock again. If there's nothing in the lineup ready to go after I'm done doing this, then we're going to raffle and call it a night. No, just going to hang out at home, Bubble Pug, watch some movies, 
maybe have a beverage or two. But nothing really big plan. I don't really do a whole lot on New Year's anyway. So, yeah, I don't really do a whole lot on New Year's anyway. I've, I've been out a <clears throat> Oh, good Lord. I've been a cup out on a couple of New Year's before. It's another Ernie Banks card. And it's just a mess. Too many people for my taste on a normal New Year's. Definitely not going anywhere this year. Previous two years I worked. Soup's working. Moogie Best, DD Gregorius, and how about a Hinjin Ryu game used? Hinjin Ryu Clubhouse. Capri Suns, right on Bubble Pug. <laughs> Just slam those Capri Suns. Sorry about that. Get into your second stack, Jamie G, again. You know, there need, if there's nothing to be ripped or done after uh, after this box, then we're just going to raffle. We got Susugo rookie there. Top performers. That's nice, Dustin May. Again, if you've been hanging out with us all day today, thank you very much. It's been a nice and active and fun end of the year break. And again, if you want something ripped, get it in now. We've got about half a box of this Heritage High number to get it in. We got Verlander. That Luis Robert again. I really like the look of this card. I mean, th this heritage set has been pretty good, the 71 set, but it's a nice looking Luis Robert card. Yeah, Middleton. Yangaris Solarte. Oh, here's an autograph. You got a, you got a relic and a autograph, Danny Coombs. Looks like maybe a buyback autograph. That's interesting. Did not expect that to come. Danny Coombs. So a blue autograph and a clubhouse collection relic. You got a bonus hit in this box. Very nice. Bonus hit. Robel Garcia rookie, Tim Lopes. Call call the cops, Steve Wilkerson. Interesting name for an insert. Last couple of packs here.
Eric Sogard. We know he's still playing. Zach Gallon performers. Brian Goodwin there. A couple more packs. Thank you, Mark. Happy New Year. Forty at age twenty one, Acuna. Aristide is a Kino rookie performers. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. He kind of does look like Squint from the Sandlot. Eric Sogard. All right, last pack here. And there you go. There is your box of high number. The Robert Rookie. You got two hits. That's kind of cool. Clubhouse and Coombs. And Coombs. So there you go, Jamie G. Oh, that felt interesting. Hold on just a second here. Just give me a minute. Yeah. All right, Chris, Baldur's got a box of Bowman's Best. If you want to do that, you can. If not, I'm going to rip this box for Baldridge, and that's going to be it. As uh, it's past 7 o'clock, and uh, we're, betting, we're, we're about ready to call it here. So you guys need to figure this out. I'm going to give you about three minutes. So I'm going to use the, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to go uh, use the restroom for about three minutes, so I will be right back. All right, so here we go. 
It looks like this uh, this idea is kind of dead. All right, we're just we're gonna rip this for Baldridge, and that's gonna be it. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm sorry that we couldn't get that idea off the ground, but I'm gonna tell you that right now. That's gonna be something we're gonna we're gonna kind of play around with probably uh, going into the new years uh, as a format for breaks. So here we go, Baldridge. Here's your box of best. Here's your box of best. Good luck. We got Zach Veen and Jordan Alvarez Refractor. How about Kellenic and Cabrera Refractor? We'll figure that out. Well, you know, we'll, we'll, we're definitely going to throw that idea around for sure. And along with some other ones as we come back in 20, in uh, 21. And ramp, ramp up personal breaks, kind of modify... Um, modify what we're doing and make it even bigger and better for uh, the 2021. Here's a Justin Dunn at a 250. And how about a Zach Gallon Atomic? And Austin Meadows. First autograph. Thank you, Baldrige. I greatly appreciate the generosity, man. Always. Mookie. Yelich Power Producers and Cade Cavalli. That looks like a refractor auto. Cade Cavalli. Tatis. Franchise ref uh, 2020 negative. And Michael Chavez is your second autograph. Got a Tatis negative. All right, second pack, second box here. Torkelson franchise favorites. We got Brennan Rogers and Ed Howard. Hendrick, Bart, Martinez, and Andrew Vaughn on the refractor. Mark O'Connor saw a judge in there for sure. How about a Pete Alonzo to 25? Nice orange refractor. Very cool, to 25. You got Kai Boom and Buster Posey. And your last two autograph packs. Harper. Oh, we have a redemption. Behind the, in front of the Nico Horner. Redemption. Best of 2020 autograph of Robert Hassel. Robert Hassel, best of 2020 on the redemption. All right, I have this one already, uh, Baldridge, but thank you very much. I appreciate that, but I do have that already. Yelich, May, Robert. Ooh, how about that? The Akiyama Atomic on the 2012 throwback. That's a sick card. And number two draft pick, Heston Kerstad is your final autograph. It's a refractor autograph. Heston Kerstad. Good hit right there. And Yakiyama's sick. So there you go. Nice box of best. Yeah, some good number stuff. A couple of atomics, but check that out, guy. Nice Kerstad. He's the number two pick. Hassel there, Chavez, and Cavalli on a refractor. Very nicely done. All right. We good to go?
No problem. We're just going to chill out for a minute. Yeah, that was a good box. Nice job, Baldridge. It's a really nice hit on that cursed ad. A little refractor. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll lead the raffle and you can help sticker boxes for me. Cool. I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be happy to do last, that. Uh, last break of the year for us here at Hall of Fame, folks. I'm going to lead this raffle here. Thanks to everybody who supported us all year long. It's been a crazy year, but the fight's not over, folks, especially for small businesses. With this wave two of COVID coming through, and uh, small businesses are still in jeopardy, folks. It looks like we're going to be closing our brick and mortar, uh, at least our, our physical doors here for the next month or so. But we'll still be here doing personal breaks and doing online business for everybody. But please keep it, keep it tuned right here and consider uh, supporting us uh, next year as well. And wherever, especially if you like to do cards. I mean, nobody older and, or better than us, in my opinion, so... Anyways, thanks everybody. Give me a second to set up for this raffle. <clears throat> I'm gonna probably raffle the prizes too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, which means where's that fucking list? Which means file open. Was this one? Yep, that one right there. Unconsciousness I'd like to pay another kiss to my mother Do 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 Scooby do Scoop dooby do the crystal ship is being filled a thousand girls a thousand thrills anybody know that song just kind of randomly spouting all right i think i'm ready to go here i think i'm ready to go here i'm actually going to create a new Spreadsheet. Maybe for the top ten, just for fun. Thank you, David Butler. Nailed it. Okay, folks. The final raffle of 2020 for this tiny business. Follow me for the final time to the randomizer screen. Oh, man. This, this year has just made me silly crazy. It's, it's turned my brain into a noodle. It's Miller time. It's definitely Miller time. Uh, let's see where am I. Here's the list of products. We're going to randomize this first, and then here's the list of people on that tab. So let's roll the dice and see how many times we're going to randomize both those lists. I'm glad it's not Snake Eyes. I was going to re-roll. Yeah, you'd have to re-roll for Snake Eyes. I was going to re-roll for Snake Eyes because that just sucks. Yeah. At least for now. If you call it, that's okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, if yeah. You have to call it before you roll yeah, it. Yeah, you got to call it before yeah. you roll it. You can't, no, you can't, no, we're not doing Snake Eyes. All right, seven times. Let's see the order of these products that are going to get randomized off here. Four... Five, six, and seven. All right, there's that. And then whoever comes up in the top ten spots, that's where you're going to get matched. Seven times on the list of participants. Here we go. This is a long list of people because this is a Two, three, four, five, six, and here comes the seventh and final roll. Thank you, and good luck, everybody. Here it is. Seven. Snag the top ten and show them what you've won. 
Boom. Andrew S. Got a box of 88 Donruss. I'm going to sticker all these right now. Eighty-eight Donruss there for Andrew S. Ed B. I want a box of twenty twenty big league collector. Spot three, George. You won the eighty-seven tops wax. That'll be a uh, that'll be a fun one with a with a nice pint. Uh, spot four, Joe Hand got the 86 Tops Rack Box. <laughs> yeah. That's a hefty box. That is a hefty one. <laughs> Joe Hand, you might enjoy that. That's a hefty box. Uh, Ed B also won the OPG Hockey. Uh, James M, you got the Stadium Club Chrome. Baldridge with the 91 Upper Deck Football. Find the Montana. Find the Montana. The 91, wasn't that Favre? Yeah, Favre's working. Uh, Richard at Martinez gets the GPK, GPK Chrome. Baldridge also got the uh, new Star Wars box. And Matt C. landed on the WWE. Those were some good prizes for the end of the year, in my opinion. Come on. Come on, folks. That's the way we do it. Uh -uh 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 -uh. End of the year breaks, people. End of the year. Let's start off the way we, let's end it the same way we started this damn broadcast. Good riddance to 2020. Hello, 2021. Sue, get in here. CJ, get in here. Everybody sing along. It's a beautiful day for collecting. Let me hear you. Beautiful day for collecting. Beautiful day for collecting cards. Hall of Fame baseball card. All right, folks, that's it from us for the year of 20 and 20. You guys, thanks for your support, those of you that did. And uh, we hope to have you all next year. Well, how do we do it, folks? Peace. Peace, Peace and love.